now. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to live football action. It helps if the microphone's down. Welcome to live football action here on ACTV. Uh, coming to you again uh, tonight from our studio. Tonight we will be going out to Anderson County as the Mavericks play host to Science Hill, the Hilltoppers. Uh, Jared, tough game last week for Anderson County. Uh, they got down to Powell. They tried to make a comeback, but uh, wasn't quite able to get there. Yeah, it was a valiant effort, but, uh, you know, you got to see a lot of uh, new faces on that side of the football. You know, they they uh, lost a lot from the previous year, a lot of talented seniors that, uh, you know, that have moved on. Um, but uh, they brought in some, you know, they have some young talent that will take some time to develop. I still think they have a playoff team, but, uh, but yeah, they fell a little short over in Powell. Right, and the biggest thing that they're having to do is replace their quarterback, Dallas. Yeah, um, this year the they have a new quarterback, and his name – is it Isaac? Let me see. I got the – Here he is right here. Yeah, Isaac Hall. Yes. He is uh, 6'2", 190 pounds, and he is from Jefferson County? I believe so. So, yeah, I heard he had a pretty good game last week, so we'll see if he carries it over the night. Yeah, they uh, they had a tough one. They tried to come back late against Powell, uh, but they weren't they weren't able to uh, to to be able to have enough time. They they got in too big of a deficit early. So, uh, also to give you a quick update right now, uh, the Clinton Dragons are playing host to the West Rebels, and West has a seven to nothing lead. So, uh, we are bringing you the Anderson County game tonight, as you can see on your screen. Uh, we just had the presentation of the colors uh, by the Navy Junior ROTC. So, great job by them. And uh, we look forward to bringing you uh, live football action once again, this time from the uh, from the home of the Mavericks. Yeah, one of the things that I would keep my eye on tonight is, you know, a lot of uh, – Schools across the state move their start times back um, at least half an hour, some an hour, uh, in order to, to combat this heat. Um, I think it will play a factor in tonight's football game. Especially early. Um, I was texting uh, the principal of Anderson County High School, and I asked him what extra precautions they took this week besides moving the game back to um, trying to beat the heat. Uh, they they didn't practice as much in full pads this week. Um, right. uh, they didn't wear their shoulder pads a lot. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. I know that uh, fl you know hopefully these kids were were fluids, 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 and rest. But um, I'll be interested to see how much of a factor the heat plays in tonight's football game. And also one of the things that we have to really look at is Anderson County's defense going into tonight's game. Uh, the Hilltoppers have a very good offense. They uh, they lost last week as well. Um, but what do you sit, see Anderson County having to do, Dallas, in order to uh, keep up with this uh, high-powered Science Hill offense? So Science Hill every year always has a competing team. Um, and um, like you said, I think you're going to have to stop the run game with them. I think you'll have to really play more of a zone and not really a man blitz defense. Well, we are here live at uh, at the studio, but we are bringing you the Anderson County Mavericks. I'm sorry, the 2022 state champion Anderson County Mavericks, and uh, against Science Hill Hilltoppers, and it should be an exciting game tonight. Once uh, again, my name is Lee Forgetty. To my left in the blue shirt, Jared Forgetty. Dallas Cole in the blue with the flowers on it. Uh, to my right, or is that butterfoot? It's, it's flowers. Yeah. It's flowers. Yeah, my uh, pink one wasn't washed. I got gotcha. you. And here comes, uh, we get ready for the Mavericks to take the field. Uh, we're hoping for an exciting game, of, uh, game tonight as the Mavericks take on the Hilltoppers.
And here comes the greatest show on turf. This entrance that Anderson County has with the fireworks and everything is something that has uh, been on the news and been, you know, kind of nationally uh, recognized. So we look forward to seeing Anderson County come out. Uh, one one lot, big loss for Anderson County. Uh, they're starting running back, and really the, you know, if there's going to be a star on this team, uh, he carried the load last year for the most part. Nick Moog is out for the game. So uh, we wish Moog uh, a speedy recovery. And uh, we, as we get ready to watch the, uh, the Mavericks come out, out to play as they take the field. It should be an exciting game tonight. Anderson County traditionally has a high-powered offense. Uh, it was geared a little bit more towards the run. Now, I know they're known for their passing, but they always balance real well with the running game. Yeah, and especially last year with the running back, Gavin No, um, he's moved on, went to Navy. And like you said, their, their run was just really good. And Nick Moog, especially this year, is a really good running back. But it's going to be a big loss for him tonight and not having him at running back. So, uh, so I can, taking – I can barely hear him now. Uh, so, in taking the place of the running back tonight, uh, you're looking at Waylon LaRue. So, so we're going to see how how he how he does. Sorry, everybody. We're uh, having Jared's having some uh, headset difficulties. If you hear him speaking through the microphone, uh, they're just trying to get that fixed. So we got the captains out on the field. Looks like uh, Moog is still out there, number 18. Also for Anderson County, you've got number 10, uh, Dalen Cole. Uh, you have number 52, uh, Eli Nelson, and number 75. That's going to be Grayson Bradshaw. Those are going to be your captains tonight for Anderson County. And I can't quite see the numbers for the Hilltoppers, but once we see those, we'll give you the captains for the Hilltoppers as well. So we're seeing how they come out. I'm back. I don't think you ever left. Well, I had it up. No, we still could hear you. I promise I had it up. <laughs> and then I gave him to Ryan. And we heard him. He's better. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, here at the at Anderson County Field, uh, we're really excited about the game tonight. Um, while we're waiting here, Jared, what, uh, uh, while we're uh, here, why don't we uh, – actually, Dallas, why don't you go ahead and give us the starting lineup for the defense – uh, for the Hilltoppers. So for the defense tonight at DM, we have Julian Emily. Uh, nose tackle, we have Gavin Taylor. DN, we have Brody Barrett. Um, outside linebacker, Trevor Winston. Uh, middle linebacker, Baylor Necessary. Um, another middle linebacker, Matthew Marsh. Uh, off another linebacker, Zepp F. And then cornerback, we have Steven... Feynman, and then we, <laughs> is it, and then at um, strong safety we have Carter Nelson, and then free safety we have Raylan Jordan, and then at cornerback we have Braylon Letcher. You finished strong yeah. on the names there. Yeah, some of them were a little uh, yeah, tricky to pronounce. Yeah, our apologies to uh, Zeph. Yeah. Um, but that last name's a little difficult. Um, Jared, why don't you give us the defense for the Mavericks? The defense for the Mavericks for tonight. It's, uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Cornerback, number two, Waylon LaRue. Strong safety, number four, Israel Small. Free safety, number 10, Dalen Cole. Uh, the other corner, number six, Xavion uh, James. Uh, weak side linebacker, number 18. They have Nick Moog listed, but he was in a boot earlier, so right. most likely it'll be Mason McMillan. Uh, at middle linebacker, you got Cody Miller. Uh, the strong side linebacker, number 19, Trent Strickland. The jack backer is Taylor Davis. And uh, at nose guard, number 57, Tom Murphy. Defensive tackle, number 50, number 75, Grayson Bradshaw. And defensive end, number 52, Eli Nelson. All right. And then it does look like uh, out uh, as we're getting ready for the corn toss, I'm going to watch to see who uh, receives, who kicks, that type thing. Could you go over the offense for us, Dallas, uh, for Science Hill? 
So the offense for Silent Hill at uh, wide receiver, we have number 11, Emmett Watson. Another wide receiver, number two, Steven um, Thayman. <laughs> Left tackle, we have 75, Brody Barrett. Left guard, we have Julian Emily. Center, we have Bryson Hill. Right guard, we have number 79, Nolan Story. Right tackle, number 57, Tristan Smith. Tied in, we have 24, Trevor Winston. Wide receiver, number 17, Josiah McGann. Quarterback, we have number 11, Jay Sean Swartz. And then running back, number three, Javion Emily. And it looks like Anderson County has won the toss, and they will receive. Jared, uh, we're going to get to see this uh, Anderson County offense out first. Why don't you run down their starting lineups for us? Starting at the X wide receiver, number 10, Dalen Cole. Starting at the Y wide receivers, number 19, Trent Strickland. With the Z wide receiver, you have number 14, Evan Pyatt. At quarterback, making his second consecutive start, you'll have number 12, Zay Hall. They have Nick Moog listed as the starting A-back. Uh, but Waylon LaRue will probably uh, get some time in his uh, absence. Um, Xavier James will also be back there. At left tackle, you got Taylor Davis. Uh, left guard, uh, Jeremiah Hall. At center, Grayson Bradshaw. Right guard, Ty Murphy. And right tackle, Eli Nelson. Thank you, guys. And uh, we're getting ready for kickoff here, and ever, all the teams are getting lined up and ready to go. Uh, it's going to be a great night of football. We look forward to bringing that to you uh, here on ACTV. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, we would like to shout out our camera people who are out there uh, in the heat doing this game for us tonight. Uh, you all are braver than we are. We're here in the air-conditioned studios. You all are out there doing the hard work. So uh, we really want to appreciate, uh, you know, just shout out Molly. Uh, and Nick and Will and Sam and everybody out there and Andy kind of heading everything up. We really appreciate the work you all do. And the kick is away. It's a shorter kick. It is received by Anderson County. They're coming around the side. Number 10, Dalen Cole receives it. Doesn't really get much on the return. And it'll be first down and 10 Mavericks from the 25-26 yard line. Yeah, he he, uh, he was trying to get across the field to hopefully find a hole, but um, the uh, Hill, Science Hill Hilltoppers did a good, cho good job of staying in their lanes and uh, fitting up and making a tackle. So here's going to be our first live action look at Zay at starting quarterback for the Mavericks. Uh, as I said, uh, Mavericks uh, defending state champions lost last week to Powell. Uh, that's become a really good rivalry in 4A. You know, I will say the uh, uh, that POW game, you know, normally has some implications. Normally one team or the other is going to make a pretty deep run into the playoffs. And well, uh, Pass down field. And pass interference. Pass, pass yeah. interference on the first play of the game. It's going to be a first down Anderson County. It looks like the Hilltoppers got there just a little early. He had The quarterback actually had position behind the receiver, uh, but you can't pull the receiver's shoulders back whenever you go up for the ball. Yeah, he, his he hands got a little heavy around him mm -hmm. uh, as the ball came into play, and uh, you can't, that's a big no-no. So they're going to mark that penalty off. First down, Mavericks. Let's see if this pass interference uh, comes in quite a bit. Uh, against the Hilltoppers. I don't know if the Hilltoppers yet have played a team. I mean, they've only had one game they lost last week, but played a team like Anderson County that really likes to uh, sling the ball around. You got four wide, or look, three wide receivers set. Now they're set. Zay takes the snap. He's looking quick out to number two, and he's going to get. Down. Oh, no, he he's on his feet. Oh, they blew a whistle. They blew it early. I don't think they should have blown the whistle that quick. Maybe he got turned around, slowed down, and then they just blew it dead. And secondly, it looked like he got a face mask. Did anybody else see that? Yeah, his head jerked around pretty hard, but uh, that was number two. That was the backup that you read earlier for Nick Moog, uh, Waylon LaRue. You know, these Hilltoppers... Their scheme, their color scheme, their everything makes them look like UFC Trojans. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. 
Are they part of the Pac-4? Yeah, I don't know how many teams are left. <laughs> <laughs> Throws it to the outside, number six. He makes the catch. Oh and that's going to be a late hit out of bounds there on number five for Science Hill. That's going to be Riley Wolfenbarger. He hit him after, you know, he was at least a, already a step out of bounds. But these refs, I think, I don't know if it has to do with the heat or what, but they're quick to throw the flags and blow the plays dead uh, so far early in this game. If you all joined us last week, uh, we, we watched a really good football game over at Clinton. But uh, at the five-minute mark in, there had already been like 427 yards. Yeah, it was, it was like one of the most heavily penalized games I Ooh. remember. It was, and that was bad. So here is another first down for Anderson County. He's rolling out. A quarterback keeper, he goes down, he picks up maybe three yards, gets out to about the 37, 38 yard line. It'll be second down and long for the Mavericks. You know, anytime you carry the football, you hope to carry it at least 3.4 yards. Oh, here comes the three yards yeah. in the cloud of dust. He because, always talks about. No, listen, no. We listen, know. listen, listen. It's because <laughs> that'll get you, that'll get you a first down. Absolutely. Okay. Will. Yep. But. What they're doing here necessarily isn't for the yards. They want to keep that those linebackers at home. They want to keep the defensive line. A nice run up the middle honest. there. Yeah. Nice that way yards it can set up their passing down the field later in this series. Nice run there by LaRue. <laughs> I'm going to have to do another shout out this week. Uh, what, uh, number is it for your eye doctor that put those glasses together? No, I just don't wear them. Um, <laughs> I think number 55, Gavin Taylor out there in the Jordan 1 cleats again. I love the, seeing the linemen rocking the Jordan 1 cleats this year. Nice quick out, and that's going to be a first down and more. He stays in bounds. I think they Go. blew it dead. No. Oh, my. Yep. I saw the referee's hands go up. Well, it's a first down Mavericks. It looked like it looked like from here, maybe partially blocked by one of the coaches, but it looked like from here he tiptoed down the line and he was able to stay in. But Coach Gillum's down there arguing his case. But it's fourth down or it's first and ten for the Mavericks. <laughs> nice looking run after the catch by uh, number. Was that 18 for the Mavericks? You always like to see an impressive yak. No, that was 19, I guess. It was, it was 19. Oh, nice pass. Nice pass to the out. He makes one guy miss, turns it back upfield, gets inside the 10-yard line down to the 7. Another first down for Anderson County. It's first and goal for the Mavericks. They've got the Hilltoppers on their heels here. <laughs> I see what you tried to do there. Two different kinds of hills. Get it? One's a heel, and one is a hill. <laughs> Zay in the shotgun formation. And he's kind of getting the final call from the sidelines. LaRue in the backfield with him. You got four wide receivers, two tight to the line on the bottom of the screen. I don't know what the call was there. Well, they just there was a dead. Fly, well, there was a flag though. But they didn't. They didn't march anything off. So first and goal for the Mavericks. Three wide receivers to the bottom, one to the top. Larue in the backfield with Zay. At the bottom, you've got number 14, Evan Pyatt, 19, Trent Strickland, and then you have number six, Xavier James. And at the top of your screen, you have number 10, Dalen Cole. At the top of your screen, you have Ricky Williams. I see Ricky up there <laughs> taking pictures, doing a heck of a job. I remember seeing him down at the uh, state championship game. He got knocked over by one of the players yeah. and we ended up having to help him up. <laughs> Bless his heart. All right. And shout out to Chris Chambers. Hadn't seen him yet, but he's somewhere down on the sidelines taking photos as well. Five-yard penalty against the Mavericks are going to call a false start on that one, so it's first and goal from the 12. 
I'll try to figure out. Uh, Ryan will hear me when I ask this question. I want, is there any place where they can go and look at those pictures later on in the week? So it's back down to the six yard line, so they'll be at the ACS website by the end of the week. So that's good. The six yard line or the pictures we were talking about? Both. <laughs> nice pickup for bo <laughs> nice pick up on the play. And then you can check out the pictures at the ACS.ac website. Again, you got the four wide receivers set, LaRue in the backfield with Zay. Takes the snap. He's looking. He still he throws it, and that's going to be incomplete. So here come the Mavericks. Third down and goal from the six. Once again, trying to get the play call in. The Mavericks on this drive have really, really uh, passed the ball well. They've really gotten down the field with it. Because like, like we were saying, the run game tonight, even though it's a little two yards behind the line passes, but, I mean, they're working out really well. Yeah. So here comes Zay getting ready to take the snap. Science Hill showing blitz. They bring it, and they run, and he gets up to about the five-yard line. It's going to be fourth down and goal from the five. Looks like Anderson County is running their kick team out there. Go ahead and take the points this early in the game and see what your defense can do. Looks like their kicker's name is Tyler Radcliffe. Number 20, Tyler Radcliffe. He'll be kicking a 22-yarder here. It looks like he's the kicker and the punter, so let's see how he does on this three-point attempt. Good snap. Hold is good. Kick is up. And it's good. Anderson County takes a three-point lead. There was Chris, our Love photographer. Oh, you saw Chris was in there. the end zone. Anderson County takes a three-point lead uh, here in the first quarter. Looks like our uh, camera shot for the clock is off by just a little bit. But Anderson County will get ready to uh, kick this ball off in order to uh, see what their defense can do. Science Hill. Science Hill getting ready to come out, and they'll have their chance at offense for the first time. Now, last week we saw a, a bunch of onside kicks there against... Uh, with Clinton. And to open up the game, and I just wonder if Anderson County may have watched some of that, and maybe they're, <laughs> they're going to kick an onside here. I mean, anything can happen in high school sports. Well, Anderson County takes an early lead here in the first. They're up three points, Lee. You know what we didn't do before the game? We give our score prediction. Well, that's on. true. Who had the closest last week? Was it you? None of us. We were all pretty far yeah, off. Sure. Way more points were scored last oh, yeah. week than what we... One team had as many points as all of us predicted. Combined? Okay. No, not combined. Not all of us combined, but like our two scores. Right. It, uh, it was close. And here comes Science Hill on a nice return. He makes one guy miss. He gets up to about the 40-yard line. Let's see where they spot it. Looks like it's going to be at about the 42, and Science Hill will take over on downs right there. Science Hill looks like they're pretty big on the line, Jude. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty solid across the the front five. Um, they uh, they got some big boys. Those are some those are some hosses there. They there's no five six 200 pounders up there. Uh, <laughs> So here comes Science Hill. Back in quarterback is number 11 for them. Jay, Jay Sean Swartz. And they do a pitch. Nice way to stay home there. Number four for Anderson County, Isaiah Small, stays home and hits the pitch man on that option uh, that uh, the Science Hill ran. Excellent defensive play right there. 
Yeah, he, he just came up and, and made a great play. Good open field tackle. Um, you know, a, a very good awareness about him uh, in the here early on defense in this game. Science Hill hands it off. I'll get my words put together eventually. <laughs> and they may get back to the original line of scrimmage. May pick up a total of about three yards there. It's going to be third and long for Science Hill. So once again, they're in that almost like a wing type formation. Number, ooh, oh, he thought he had him in the backfield. He makes the throw. Nice defensive play there by number 10. Dalen Cole. Dalen Cole jumps the route and knocks it down. Excellent play defensively there by the Mavericks. Two, two top notch plays by their uh, cornerbacks uh, here early in this first quarter. And they, I mean, he, you know, it was a good play. He didn't run into the wide receiver. He went around the receiver and just used his hand, knocked it down. Textbook defensive play there by Anderson County. It was good. It was real good. Thanks, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have the punting unit out for Science Hill. I mean, they could fake it here. Anderson County brings the block. About got it. Science Hill gets a friendly roll there and rolls down to about the 20 yard line of Anderson County. And that's where they will take over first and goal, or first and 10, with seven minutes and 11 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Impressed by the defense here early in this football game. Uh, they were able to read the offense of Science Hill very well and make some great plays in the backfield. Yeah, the, that, the defensive secondary really stepped up. They, you know, they came on that option. They came and they stopped the runner in the backfield or the pitch guy, uh, the guy that received it, and then that defensive play and knocking down that pass. Great, great first drive for Anderson County's D. And we got 7-11. So, yep. Make a wish. Is that? No, that's 11 11. Oh, okay. 7 11's the uh, <laughs> big gulp. Gas yeah. station. <laughs> Five yards, six, seven. He's still spinning down. See where they mark him. They're going to mark him outside the 30 or outside the 25 to about the 27 yard line. Heck of a run there by Anderson County. Even with Moog out, they're still committed to this run and they're doing a very good job at it so far tonight. And again, maybe it does loosen up that, you know, secondary and the linebacking core uh, for the wide receivers to get open, but they're having some success early running. You know, they only got three down linemen on this uh, Science Hill defensive side of the football. but And they dropped eight. Yeah. They'll get zero pressure on the quarterback doing that. So what they need to do is, you know, he needs to take his time and let for those uh, routes, routes develop. to develop. Yeah, not, a lot of times when you see that 3-4 uh, defense, you'll have one linebacker. At least one of them will, will, will blitz on that to at least get four people coming at the or quarterback. Or they'll stay home and spy, watch the quarterback. Right. For, but it looked like mean. all of them dropped back into coverage that time. They're bringing at least one this time, it looks like. Nice throw underneath, picks up the first down out to right around the 35 yard line and it will be a first down Anderson County. You know the offensive line for Anderson County did a really good job of picking up those blitz that blitz that time. So first and 10 Anderson County from the 35. Zay in the shotgun formation. He's got two backs back there with him this time. Three wide receivers. The line for Anderson County seems to be doing a pretty good job so far tonight as well, giving Zay time to uh, find that open receiver. That's one thing against Powell last week. They were able to get a lot of pressure, but uh, so far, Science Hill has not been able to do that tonight. Running back for Anderson County that time was number 19, Trent Strickland. He was stacked up at the line for no gain. Five and a half minutes left, and Anderson County does lead three to nothing.
Jared, replacing a quarterback like Walker, which is what Anders County is having to do this year, is not an easy task as he won a state championship and had an undefeated season last year. Zay swings it out. Nice quick pass. pass. Makes one guy miss. Gets out past the 40-yard line down to about the 41. Yeah, he probably picked up about seven yards there. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge deal. I mean, um, they kind of control the tempo. They control a lot of different things on the offensive side of the football. Um, he was a leader in the locker room. He Had he been a three- or a four-year starter? A uh, three. I'm pretty sure it was so, just three. I mean, you lose that much experience, you know, that it's hard to uh, overcome that. Zay takes the snap. Ooh, big hit. See, it looks like he's going to be just a little short, short of the of first down. Hit. Short by about half a yard, it looked like, if they spot it where the uh, referee from the sideline was coming in. It's fourth and goal. Or, I'm sorry, fourth and short. About half a yard. I still don't like them getting not getting under center on this. Oh, here he goes. He is under. He will be under center. Takes the snap. They went nowhere. And, and I think there's a false start. If it, it is, it is a, a false, false start, start, so they'll get to go again. Well, uh, they'll probably punt it now. <laughs> So instead of fourth and a half yard, it's fourth and five and a half. Unless, unless science hit. I don't know if they'll allow them to, to not to. No, they'll take that penalty because science Hill will. They don't want Anderson County to have another shot at fourth yeah. and short. And the punter for Anderson County? Tyler Radcliffe. Oh, nice punt. Fair catch called for. He runs up. Oh, he muffs it. Picked up by Anderson County. He's at the 20, 15, 10. Oh, knocked out of bounds short of the goal line. But it is going to be first and goal Anderson County uh, from the seven as uh, looks like number two there for Science Hill. Steven. Uh, um, Steven Feynman. If I'm not mistaken... I don't think he can advance that. I think he can just fall on it. Let's see what happens here with the spotting of the ball. I'm, I can't, I'll have to remember. I'll have to remember my rules for high school. I think you're right. It looks like they're going to mark don't, him back. I don't think he can advance the football. Yeah. Okay. But either way, it's a huge play for Anderson I'm going to pat myself on the back for remembering hey, that. Good job, Jared. I, I'll, I'll give one. you some knucks on I that one. I got that one. Yep. <clears throat> So it is going to be first and 10 for Anderson County. Nice punt there uh, by Anderson County. And I just, he, he wasn't able to. Uh, Can to somebody make tell Coach Gillum it's 95 degrees outside? Why win a jacket? Yeah, I noticed that <laughs> earlier. <laughs> I mean, it is, at least he had shorts on. I, I mean, think. he's in way better shape than I am. So, I mean, <laughs> I'll give him props there. But, like, you know, it's 100 degrees outside. On that and on that turf, it's probably like 105. Shout out to Anderson County's principal, been down in there getting some shots. <laughs> he's also the it, chief social media. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's the head of the social media team. Yeah. Uh, and he's in pants. I don't. I'd be roasting too. <laughs> That's what we'll do at the break. We'll take a, a selfie of the three of us, and I'll and text it, it to him. Send it to him. <laughs> Ask him how hot it is there. Yeah. So it's going to be first and 10 Anderson County from the 25. That is where he muffed the punt, and uh, Anderson County, you know, picked it up. Zay in the shotgun formation. He rolls around. He's looking to try to find somebody. He found a wide receiver wide, wide open. open. Touchdown, Mavericks. Big catch there by number 14 for the Anderson County Evan Mavericks. Pyatt. Pyatt wide open. Kind of Pyatt reminded me of Jalen Hyatt right there, as open as he was coming across the uh, field. Is there 
A penalty on the play? I didn't see any laundry, but doesn't mean it wasn't there. And it is going to be a penalty against Anderson County, it looks like. Well, that's unfortunate. Is there a legal, guy down, a legal man downfield? Come on, big guys. You know you can't run down there and play with the wide receivers. Yeah, it looks like they had an illegal <laughs> player down the field. Could just be one of the wide receivers got covered up or something. So take that touchdown off the board. It's going to be first and 15. Run Anderson it again. County. Well, you might as well. It worked well last time. Well, you had one of your wide receivers that fell down. The shorter option on that side yeah. fell. Looks like he was running like an underneath out route. Oh, oh interception. Oh. This is what happened against Powell last week. Zay was playing well but had a couple of uh, bad interceptions. After that big touch, you know, would have been a touchdown pass. Uh, he underthrows his receiver, uh, and Science Hill just steps right up and intercepts it. No, it looks like that was like number 24. It was uh, Tr Tris, no, Tre Trevor Winston. You know, I think that's something that they probably saw on, on film this week from last week's game that they felt like maybe they could exploit a little bit. So here come the Hilltoppers. They get the ball right at the 50-yard line, first and 10. This time they go with a play fake. Got a wide receiver down the field. He, had, he tried to come back for it, but there's no penalty there because he had to stop his route and come back and there was some incidental contact it's not like he was holding his arms down or anything like that that call was a good no call I agree so second down and 10 for the Hilltoppers Anderson County has four on the line three linebackers see what they do here hand off to number 22 he cuts back up nice that was Stop. well played that linebacker come up and plug the hole he wasn't able to wrap him up and take him down but he slowed him down enough to get some help there and that's it, that, that's an excellent football play the guard on this side uh, for science hill uh, really cut blocked the the defensive lineman on this side and really took him out of the play and it was uh, it was impressive to see the linebackers fill that gap and make a play because there was a big hole. Yeah, I, it looked like he was going to have a nice run there. So it's going to be third down and about, what, eight? Sons Hill keeps it. The quarterback keeps it. He runs. He picks up. He's going to be close to the first down marker. Let's we'll see where they spot him. Looks like they might spot him a little short, a, hard, a whole yard short. I don't know. I don't know if they got a great spot on that one. It looks like they're going for it. No, it looks like they're changing some yeah, personnel they're out. They're putting in their heavy package. Oh, yeah. 73 is going to run it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to stack that line. Who was sit number six for the Trojans that played quarterback? Matt Liner? Matt Liner. Yeah. Osmond Winner. He takes the snap. He's rolling out to the outside. He picks up the first down. He's oh, able to turn the corner. Some more. And he gets down to right around the 20-yard line before he's taken down by Dalen. But it's going to be a first down and more for the Hilltoppers. You know, Dalen did a good job getting over there and making a play. But I will give credit to the quarterback. Uh, he did not shy away from contact. No, he lowered his shoulder and went into it. And that was number six. Mm -hmm. He's not their starter. No. He's you, not listed on here. You don't you don't let your starter take that type of hit. <laughs> That's called the Tebow package. <laughs> Built like a tight end but thinks he can throw it. And then the tight end, number 24, that just ran in for the Hilltop. Trevor jumped. Winston. And he's the one that had that interception, yeah. but he just jumped off sides. And now they're calling him out. Fun they're, fact, we had a dog for 17 years named Winston. Cocker Spaniel. Most loyal dog. And actually their hair is about the same color. Yeah. So it's going to be first and 15 for the Hilltoppers. <laughs> I 
number 11 for the Hilltoppers in shotgun formation. Hands the ball off. Hilltoppers are bound and determined to run it, but Anderson County once again says no thank you. Stops him for a one-yard loss. Great job there by the Anderson County defense. Yeah, especially their defense and I have really played well on the on the run game. They really not let them pick up anything besides that last yeah, right no. there at fourth and one. But I mean, besides that, they've really um, no held big, their weight. Yeah. No, no big plays on the from yeah. the run game, and that's going to be another false start by Science Hill. The quarterback buckled, as did one of the linemen. Both of them flinched. Hey, Lee. Yes. You know how many days we are away from college football? Uh, nine? Technically, less than nine. Oh, less than 24 hours because yeah, week zero. Well, that's true. How many to the outside. <laughs> Look at that. He fought um, through a blocker and tackled the guy around the uh, other wide receiver that was trying to block him. Excellent play there by the uh, secondary for Anderson County. Once again, secondary steps up and makes a huge play for him. Well, we may have one more play here in this quarter. We'll see. I don't know what the play clock's at. So it's going to be fourth and long. I believe it's fourth down. Fourth and long for the Hilltoppers. And they come out and they're lined up like they're going to go for it. Takes the snap. He's looking. He's still looking downfield. Anderson County bottles him up, pushes him out of bounds. And I believe that's going to be a turnover on downs for the Mavericks. Good defense, way to stay home. You know, it, it, uh, well, at this level, or not a lot of schools. Down? I'm sorry. At this level, not a lot of schools have, you know, a, a punter that can, you know, with that kind of accuracy can, you know, drop it pin right it, there. Pin it deep. So, you know, this is kind of no man's land, so you might as well go for it. That was third down. I apologize. This is fourth down. With, a, with the penalties, I, I lost one there. I apologize. The penalty also stopped the clock, so they'll be. And they ran out. This will be the final play, most likely, unless they throw an incomplete pass. Quarterback drops back. He's deep in the pocket. He's looking, and he's scrambling around trying to find something. Anderson County tries to bottle him up, but he makes a play, dives forward. Still going to be short. Uh, yeah, he's going to be about. And that is going to be the end of the first quarter are they going to measure? measure it oh the, he got a good spot on that one he got a healthy spot so he signaled that that's the end of the quarter but <clears throat> I think they'll measure it I would measure it before you moved it down to the other side But the end of the third quarter, Anderson or first quarter, Anderson County leads three to nothing. So we'll see what happens on the other side of the field here in just a second. But uh, right now, Jared, what do you think of that first first quarter? I mean, and, and, I mean, the story's got to be Anderson County's defense. Yeah, they're looking pretty sharp. You know, they've uh, made some really good plays. Their secondary's pl playing fantastic. Um, up front's playing pretty well too, but <clears throat> their secondary is really staying home. They're they're making good reads in the backfield and and making some good plays. I've got some uh, people texting me volunteering to be a uh, sideline reporter for us. <laughs> she is a Anderson County employee, so oh okay for the school system. Our sister? No, BJ Caldwell. Oh, okay. If we if we ever can get you one, hear it out? Uh, back to the studio, Lee. <laughs> well, we'll uh, we'll see if we have it in the budget to add that. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, uh, BJ, I'm sorry to say uh, that was vetoed by Ryan. Uh, we don't have it in the budget. He said. <laughs> <laughs> But we do want to thank everyone out there for watching. Thanks for uh, your messages and everything on Facebook. Oh, they did give it to Anderson County. They did give it. So it's first and down Anderson County, and he runs it, and he picks up about half a yard. I told you this short. 
Yeah, but uh, we just want to say... Why don't you go be the sideline uh, reporter? I should be. You could be the sideline girl, Jared. Sold. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You all can't hear what was being said. Uh, we were going to replace Dallas with BJ. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll have a vote on that at, at, at halftime. Let's have a <laughs> like a best three of five like paper, rock, scissors or something. Oh, that'd be interesting. We'll televise it, sell some yeah. sponsorship or not sponsorships, but uh, get some people to be partners with us. Underwrite. Yeah. So it'll be third down and five for the Mavericks. D- <laughs> yeah, hey, you think Jeff Cole's office would underwrite that? We might. <laughs> he probably would want BJ to replace him too. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and actually, we may have a little bit of argument. My wife has just volunteered also to be the sideline reporter. So, uh, well, we need one for each sideline. Oh, that'd right? be fantastic. Actually, actually, then we, then we like need two more cameras. Though. Actually, we could just, just zoom in on them. You wouldn't need two more cameras. There's already a camera on the sideline. Just use yeah. the, the camera that's oh, already down there. I about that, yeah. I forget about that one. We could just send Dallas down there and make him run back and forth. Yeah, that'd be... That'd be we could I, try I that. I did my days on the turf. <laughs> 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 I did my days on the turf. So, again, it's third down and five for the Mavericks. Timeout on the field. 10.44 left to go here in the first half. Um, and just uh, just a real quick score update of uh, interest. The Dragons are uh, behind to the West Rebels, uh, 24 to nothing, with about nine minutes left to go in the second quarter. Yeah, that West football team is really good. They really are. They're probably going to win state. They're uh, they're. I mean, they won last year. That's supposed to be a rebuilding year for them. But oh, it's not supposed to be. A re- they got most of their people back. Oh, really? Yeah, like nine on defense and like eight or nine on offense. Okay, well, or maybe mostly. seven on offense. All right, here comes Anders County. You got four wide receivers: two at the top of the screen, two to the bottom. Zay getting ready to take the snap. He's looking for. Yeah, there was a jump. I don't know if it was uh, offense or defense, but I watched call it on Anderson County. And number gonna, 55 jumped. And that's going to be third down. Instead of third and five, it's third and ten. Yeah, they were definitely a junior heavy team last year. But after this year, they'll, they'll have quite a drop off. So third down and ten for the Mavericks. Zay in that shotgun formation. Same spread. Uh, type offense to the top, to the bottom, and he's looking. He has a wide receiver. Wide open. He finds wide open. He tries to get by one receiver. Almost to midfield. DB not able to, and he's pulled down just short of uh, the 50. Evan Pyatt, ain't it? No. Nope. No, not, it's number 19. Pyatt's oh, 14. Strickland. Strickland. Strickland is 19, yeah. Excellent way to come back and uh, get adjust for the ball, and a uh, big pick up there for the Mavericks. Yeah, we're still trying to get used to some of these new names. Yep. That we <laughs> we called the same ones yeah. for so long. It's it, it's a little bit different. So Zay in that shotgun, he's got one back right there with him. Oh, they're looking to throw it. They try to go That's with the nice. screen, see if he makes one guy miss. He does. He slides through, picks up about eight yards or so, and it's going to be another two yards till he can get the first down but uh there's strickland again uh nice nice catch and uh again that yak he needs to come out for a quick breather yeah you know strickland's look good in the second quarter here he's uh caught several balls and um he's looked really good and, and it seems like you know zay threw an interception but it seems like he's been able to have a pretty short memory and and that's going to happen with you you know you're in a new system and it's your first home game. You're going to have a little bit of those jitters, but it looks like he's calmed down some. And let's see if he can get back on track. Handoff. <laughs> I don't know if it was a timeout or a penalty or what happened there. There was a flag. Another false start by Anderson County. Man, those false starts are starting to shoot Anderson County in the. You know, foot. it's a mental thing though. The heat out there. I mean. You're just ready to go and yeah. you're done. Yeah, it's got to be, you know, like you said, uh, 
I, I have a, a buddy of mine, his daughter is cheering for the first time this year. And uh, they were out Saturday, you know, doing their little league cheerleading thing. And one of the cheerleaders walked over and said, I think my ears are sweating. <laughs> oh, that was almost another interception there by number six. But uh, if if the if the pass had been a little bit higher, I think number 10 for Anderson County, Dalen would have been able to grab that one. It's third down and seven. It's, you know it's hot when your ears are sweating. Yeah, I... Uh, I don't think I've ever experienced that. No. Three wide receivers to the bottom of your screen, one to the top. Zay is in the shotgun. He takes the ball. He's looking. He's rolling. Tries to throw it underneath. Ball is behind the receiver as he moved towards the sideline. Incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. It looks like Anderson County is running the punt team back out there. This has really been a good defensive game for both, both teams. Both sides, absolutely. Both teams, yeah. Even though Anderson County got off to the field goal right off the rip, uh, Science Hill's kind of settled down and really starting to get in their groove on defense. And as well as Anderson County, they've really kind of been in their groove the whole time besides that one big run play on the, the wild fourth cap. end, yeah. yeah. And the thing is, is Anderson County's had their opportunities to score, but the penalties that they've had – have kind of shot them in the foot. They took one score off the board, and it knocked them. Oh, low snap, picked up by the oh uh, almost kicked it into his own blocker, but he ends up getting it away, and uh, the Hilltoppers will get the ball around the 30. That's pretty good co considering the other option after the, yeah, the snap that stayed on the ground, and then he almost kicked it into his own player. Yeah, that would not have been heads up play though. I yeah, mean, absolutely. Got it, got it off and just under nine minutes left to go here in the second or yeah second quarter. You know, I'm kind of shocked by this score. You know, Anderson County had one called back, but I thought there would be some, you know for Science Hill and for Anderson County a little more scoring in this game. Well, the defenses have really stepped up to play so. Uh, hats off to the preparation and everything that they had this week because both defenses are looking really good right now. So Hilltoppers back in the shotgun formation once again. And another flag. And it's going to be... What was that? Jump. All sides on Anderson County. Number 55 took a step. I think he crossed the line there. That's num number 55. But yeah. Oh, I was just looking at uh, Jay Sean Schwartz, the senior quarterback for the Hilltoppers. Uh, he's ha he's had a pretty decent game so far. They haven't been able to get much going, but he's been consistent and protected the ball, and that's going to be a first down for the Hilltoppers. He's, he's able to run and dive forward and pick up enough yards for the first. You know, for as as large as the offensive line is for Science Hill, you know, the Anderson County defensive line has done a good job, you know, occupying all five men. And those linebackers have done an excellent job filling the gaps whenever there has been a hole. So Swartz takes the snap. He's trying to run it up there, and he picks up maybe about three yards. And that's going to be second down and seven now for the Hilltoppers as the clock continues to run around eight minutes to go here in the first half. Schwartz calling out, barking out the signals. Takes the snap, hands it off. They had a little hole there and they're able to pick up quite a few yards. Strickland's helmet came off. He's going to have to come out for a play. He plays one of those outside linebacker positions. So here come the Hilltoppers back to the line quick. Another handoff the same direction. Tripped up, and he's about down to about the same. They're going to call him down there. There's no way. Ground can't cause a fumble. <laughs> So he gets right at the 50-yard line. Do you see it? Yeah. It's going to be fourth and <laughs> short. That flag ready. Yeah. <laughs> fourth and short for the Hilltoppers. You got to look alive down there, ref. You're calling for the football. You better catch it when it gets thrown <laughs> at you. 
Number six for the Hilltoppers comes in. Looks like he's going to run that Wildcat package again. It's dangerous for them. He's a big, big guy, big runner. And looks like there may be a timeout called. So the referee has spotted it. Oh, they spotted on the other side of the 50. He may have enough for a first. No, he's really short, just just a little bit short of the first down. He's actually got to get to the 49, so looks like he's about you know, six inches or so short. Third down? Yeah. Four. Number six and he takes the run snap. that wildcat and they had the wide open hole. And he hit the hole and he is gone. He's at the 10, five, touchdown. Hilltoppers. And number six. I don't know if we have him. Uh, I said his name. Is that Mason e Eckerson? He, he runs like Eric. Baylor, Eric Baylor Dickerson. Necessary. necessary. Uh, oh, that's right. I was looking at Anderson County. So. Yeah, number six, Baylor Necessary. He is a junior. Plays running back and linebacker. So they cool. ran the Wildcat right there. and That play earlier got Anderson County in trouble because they um, – well, he went all the way to the outside yeah. on that last Yeah, one. but this they time, had a little bit better hold this time. Yeah, this time he put his foot in the ground and cuts it up and just nothing between him but and the end zone. And the kick is up and good. Science Hill tacks on the extra point. Your score, Anderson County 3, Science Hill 7. And you'd think Science Hill would start running some passing play because Anderson County's really done well on defense to stop the run, but... Except for those plays, number six. I mean, yeah, I mean, play just run him every time if it's going to work like that. He's, he's ran the ball two twice, two. and he's, he's had a lot. Of, he's had the most success. Well, it's necessarily going to happen. <laughs> and there's our bad joke of the bad, night. No, bad joke of the night. My goodness. Bad dad joke of the night. I'll give you that. I'd rather hear the hill one again, the hilltoppers. Oh, I've got I've got good jokes. When are you gonna tell them? What is yeah, look, what look. is a cow's? <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's appropriate. It's uh, the Mavericks. What's a cow's favorite type of entertainment? The movies. Going to the <laughs> movies. There you go. <laughs> Ron Ron did say a good one. A musical. You could do two there. I like movies better. So here comes Science Hill getting ready to kick the ball off. <laughs> Yo, if I get a little slap happy tonight, it's because my two-year-old got me up at like 4.30 this morning. Oh, it did? And I did not go back to bed. At what time? 4.30. Oof. And then they moved the game back like 45 minutes. Yeah. It's eight <laughs> I'm going to get home at like 1 o'clock and... It, then I have to be back at the church tomorrow at like 8. Oh, do you? Yeah. So here comes it is Science what it Hill is. to kick off. Taking just short of the 20. Gets up to about the 35-yard line where he steps out of bounds. Anderson County will take over on downs right there. The offense for Anderson County really needs to get something going on this drive. They need a they need a you know I'm not saying a quick score but they need a drive to at least you know move the yard move the you know ball down the field and try to get something else on the on the board before well, half. You know their workhorse Moog is out. Yeah. You know and um, somebody on this offense is gonna have to step up. You know missing a uh, a leader like Moog out on, on the field especially against a team like Science Hill it's really tough but. Uh, Anderson County's hanging in there. Their defense, up, except for that wildcat package for number six, has really done a great job so far tonight. LaRue is in the backfield. And Cody Miller also came in the game. Play action. Looking deep. Has a receiver. Almost picked off. Number six again. He's going to have to start reading that the whole field. That's number five. Was that five? Yeah, that's. Uh, you know, he's he's Braylon still Ledger. a still a young quarterback, but he's going to have to read the whole field. Is Co number twelve. Uh, yeah. Cody Miller. I, I thought Zay. he was a senior. 
Well, he, yeah, but he's only in his second start. Oh. Cody Miller was open in the flat right here, and that would have been a great six or seven yard pickup. I mean, wide open. Takes the snap, gets it out of his hand Good quick, pass. number six. Tries to make one guy miss, drags him a little bit. Nice little pickup there for Anderson County. Mr. James. That's gonna, this is going to be third down for the Mavericks. So you got th two wide receivers to the top of the screen, one to the bottom. You kind of have that uh, kind of H-back type position. Number 15 is playing right there, and then you have LaRue in the backfield with Zay. Hall gets ready to take the snap. He's looking downfield. He lets he it go. Can. He's got a wide receiver, and he's wide open. He's at the 20. He puts it, stops to the 10. Can he get in? Can Five. he get in? Oh, he's taking down. And he the turned up the, the foot. Oh, they called him down. I thought he turned the foot football over. Great pass there by. Uh, I think they're saying his 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 knee made contact with the ground before he let go of the football. But he may have gotten. Yeah, he's, he's a little shaken ginger. up there. Yeah, he's getting he's coming off the field a little gingerly, but great play there by uh, Hall to find number six um, for Anderson County. That's going to be Xavier James or Xavier James, and he picks up a lot of yards and gets down to about the three. So it's going to be first and goal for the Mavericks from the three. And looks like they're trying to call a timeout. Hall gets the timeout called as the play clock was running down. So uh, Anderson County is knocking on the door uh, from the three-yard line. But just under six minutes left to go here in the first half. Anderson County still trailing Science Hill three to seven, uh, but they're getting ready to try to punch it in. We'll do a quick break for station identification here on AC TV Sports. Thank you, Jared. We hadn't done that in a couple of years. I had to break it out at some point. If you are joining us and you're watching on your phone, you and you have, uh, you know, AT and T or Xfinity. Uh, on Xfinity, we're on channel 95, and on AT and T, we're on channel 99. We're on the Roku app. Um, we're on and obviously we're on all kinds of social media platforms and uh, you can always watch us at andersoncounty.tv absolutely again we got to shout out the uh, the camera people and Andy that are all over at the field uh, in this heat tonight thank you guys for going out there and Capturing this video for us. Hall hands off to LaRue. He's stacked up. Touchdown. Ends the end zone touchdown. Mavericks. LaRue with the second effort breaks the goal line and they get in. And uh, Anderson County uh, looks to take a three point lead pending the point after. Is that confetti? Either that or all of our screens are messing up at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get a new one I'll take this one home <laughs> <laughs> and that kick is up it's good. and it is good Anderson County takes a three point lead with just with 551 left to go here in the first half they're up 10 to 7 huh. what Jared that was not Tyler Radcliffe that kicked that oh who was it that was Josh Valero Oh, very good. Valero, good, Jared. <laughs> There's only one dad joke king in this studio. Yeah, but Ryan's in the booth. <laughs> so true. And it's kind of getting ready to kick off from the 45 yard line. So that was a good looking drive by the Mavericks. They had that big chunk play, uh, pass play down the sideline, and then they were able to punch it in. That's more of the Anders County offense, Jared, that we've gotten accustomed to over the past, what, decade or so? Well, yeah, I mean, 
the only way they're going to be able to open up this passing game is to control the line of scrimmage and run the football. Right. Um, they will not be. They're they're going to continue to drop linebackers, and they feel like that athletically they can play man coverage here early in this football game. So until they can can control the line of scrimmage and run the football up the middle, they're not going to be able to go to the air well, like we're used to seeing. And that's tough to be able to do with your starting running back, senior leader. Um, who is a much out. larger back. Oh, my goodness. He is. He's a bruiser. And, you know, you, if if he hits you square up, you're going to feel it the next day. Nice kick. Breaks the goal line, and that's going to be a touchback. Good-looking kick there for Anderson County. But, I mean, LaRue, don't get me wrong, LaRue has done a great job in there tonight. And, you know, he's... He's running behind that line, and the defensive line and linebackers for Science Hill are, are large and they're fast. Uh, but he's done a good job back there. But missing that senior leadership and experience that Moog has in this offense, you know, he had to be able. He he was a, you know, a help to the quarterback and. Uh, you know, so Zay. this is what they have listed. I don't know <laughs> how accurate this is, but they have Larue listed at five nine, 185 pounds. He is a junior. But Moog is six foot tall and 200 pounds. And that's going to be a first down for Science Hill. They run to the outside. And maybe running to the outside might be Science Hill's way of combating this defense for Anders County, which up until this point has been very stout. Well, if they run the cornerbacks off the line of scrimmage, those uh, linebackers, outside linebackers, are going to have to stay home. Running back again tries to get to the outside. Great job by the linebacker getting further outside and not letting him, you know, turn it upfield. Only picks up about two yards there, or maybe a yard, about a yard or so. Second down and long for the Hilltoppers. So, Hilltoppers getting the signal from the sidelines steps up and lets them know what's going on takes the snap hands it off to the inside nice run that is a nice run there by science hill it looks like it's going to be first down for the hilltoppers that's just a sophomore ian mathis no yeah sophomore ian mathis running back He's a good-looking running back. Yeah. First and 10 from about the 46-yard line. Hilltoppers chuck it deep. Nice defensive play there. He went up for the ball, almost came away with the interception. Excellent play there by number 14 for the Mavericks. Uh, Evan Pyatt. Evan Pyatt. He had a better position. He was in better position to try to catch that ball than Sons Hill was. Yeah, that uh, wide receiver for Sons Hill became a defensive player. Yeah. Second down, or is it second or third? I think it's third because they had that run that yeah. didn't get a first. Well, no, it might be second. He may have got a first down on that run. Yeah, second down and 10 for the Hilltoppers. Hands it off to the inside. Ooh, He's got nice some hole. yards. He again, he makes the first wave, first level miss. Gets into that secondary and has a nice run. Gets down to about the 35 yard line. Again, first and ten. Hilltoppers. They're really starting to uh, to gash this uh, Anderson County defense, Jared. I've noticed that uh, on, especially in the secondary, the coaches are doing a good job getting guys moved Rotating in and out. In, yeah. And I especially think with this right now, I think the heat's finally catching up to both teams. So both teams are kind of playing a little bit less sloppier, so a lot more plays are getting involved on the offense. Hands the ball inside once again to number three. Nice run again. He picks up about three yards. It's going to be second down and seven for the Hilltoppers. And that's going to be uh, Javon uh, M Emil, Emily, something like that. He's a senior running back. <clears throat> Timeout on the field. 
it's going to be second and seven for the Hilltoppers. And uh, I'll tell you what, Jared, it's been this has been a fun game so far tonight. Uh, they've cleaned it up here in the second quarter. First quarter had a lot of penalties. Offense not doing much. Defense was playing well. But it looks like both offenses have kind of found their footing here in the second uh, second quarter. Yeah, they've both been able to punch in a, a touchdown, you know, and uh, that's what we're here to do, score touchdowns, right? So um, be interested to see what changes they may make at halftime, if any. Um, Anderson County, like I said, I think their offense is going to live or die by controlling the uh, line of scrimmage. You know, we're here to do two things. Chew bubble gum and score touchdowns. And we're all out and of bubble gum. we're all out of bubble gum. <laughs> I don't think you got that quite right. I did for ACTV. Oh, okay. By the late, great Roddy Piper. Oh, is it really? <laughs> Evidently, Stone, uh, I'm not able to hear it, but there's uh, another wrestler's music playing in the background as I have a wrestling reference. So, I know my wife's going to roll her eyes at that one. She loves that I like to watch wrestling. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Yes, that's uh, she took the she took Piper's gimmick pretty much. Don't get me started. She got his permission. He was gone. No. Okay, so that's a false start on Science Hill. That's going to back them up, and it's going to be second down in about 12. I want to thank our producer for backing me up on that. Well, I, <laughs> I, I didn't think that he was still around whenever she first broke in, so Ryan did confirm that she did have Piper's permission. So, But that's enough of our wrestling talk for tonight, or I could go on for a while. <laughs> We're back underway here, live on ACTV. It's the Hilltoppers take on your home, Anderson County Mavericks. Number 15 Cody for Miller. Anderson County. Miller steps up and makes a nice tackle in the backfield. Uh, while we're doing shout-outs, uh, here in a couple of days, um, we're going to have a birthday in the family and maybe an actual birthday in the family. So... Your birthday is coming up. Uh, you'll be 35 this year, 36. 36. 36. Huh. And there is a possibility that our sister Lauren. I'll take 35. No, I'll give you 36. And there's a possibility that our sister Lauren may have her baby uh, on Sunday as well. So uh, fingers crossed. That'd be three generations with the uh, August 27th birthday. Yep. So shout out. Oh, he keeps it. He tucks it. And he's going down the field. He picks up the first down and more. And he's going to be stopped inside the 20, and that is going to be a first down Hilltoppers he as might they get, get a into penalty. the red zone. Will he get a penalty for that? No. No? No, not for just a point. So shout out Rhonda, who actually lives not too far from Science Hill. Yeah. Uh, my Aunt Rhonda, myself, and then possibly possibly little Miss Jalen May. Takes the snap, hands it off, and cuts up the middle. Again, good linebackers are staying home for Andrews County on those inside runs. It's when the Hilltoppers bounce it outside, they're having a little bit more success. You know, I told all the other cousins that I would love them all equally, but Jalen would be my favorite, and they didn't like that very much. <laughs> Second down and seven, six and a half or so for the Hilltoppers. Inside two minutes to go here in the first half. Runs into a wall there. One helmet. of their big offensive linemen lost his helmet. He's going to have to come out for a play. So it's going to be third down in about one one and a half to two yards. With a right minute. At, yeah, right at the half. Yeah. Or, or, yeah, a minute and a half left to go. Yeah. So I know where I would blitz. Number 73 is not <laughs> nearly as big as the other guy. If I were the, oh, here comes number six in. Oh, that's okay. Just replace the quarterback with a twice the size running back. Well, you got to watch for the jump pass here. They can't just run him. They've got to have a play in there for him also in order to keep teams from just stacking all 11 right inside the box. They're going to take a timeout. Yeah. That's so smart. because they took a timeout, 51. 73 will uh, most likely in. not see a play. No, 51 <laughs> will probably be back in. Smart timeout there by the Hilltoppers. Right I mean, you're at the end of the half. You've got 
one minute left, you might as well take it because you don't get to take them with you. Three-point lead by Anderson County. Hilltoppers are in the red zone down to the 10-yard line. So let's see what they go, and we get to see some freshmen down here celebrating and having a good time on the sidelines. Did anybody see that middle school kid with the mullet? Yeah, I did. Okay, is that what you were laughing about? Yeah. It was pretty epic. That's all. Yeah. So let's see what the defense is able to draw up. Here with one minute left, they really need to try to, uh, you know, keep keep Science Hill out of the end zone here at half because they get the ball back after halftime. Anders County won the uh, toss and elected to receive, and uh, so that means Science Hill gets it at half. So if they're able to well, put seven on runs. the board here and then get the, you know, get the ball back, they could they could end up building a pretty good lead. Good to see Tony Lambert down there walking the sidelines. Came back to Anderson County last year. Number six keeps it again. Ooh. I, I think he might be short. It. And now he's got to get down to the eight. I think he's that at the nine. That clock is still rolling, so they're not even thinking he's close. It's going to be fourth down in about a yard. And he's going to go right back at it again. This could be a huge stop for Anderson County. Chris Longmars, you are right. Ashley is my birthday buddy. I'm just a year older. And, oh, then he goes over the top, picks up the first down. Happy birthday, Ashley. So everybody went low, and he went up high, jumped over the top, and end up picking up the first down. So it's going to be first and goal Hilltoppers from the six. And they called another timeout. Coach Lambert is not happy. <laughs> you know, if you take your headset off, you can almost hear him yelling from he probably could. From the other side of Clinton. I'll tell you what, number six, that's an athlete to be able to jump as high as he did. He yeah. got he got some air on that one. So let's see what the Hilltoppers draw up here. First and six with just, well, right at 32 seconds left to go here in the first half. Anderson County's got to... Oh, they kept that quarterback in, number six. They got to hold him here. This time he's running the other way. No, he's looking to throw it. Incomplete. Good defense. That was really good defense. I knew that they had to have a pass play drawn up for him. Number six can't throw it. No, he can't. Now, here's the thing. If he had touched <laughs> it, it. hit the guy's hands. He though. lobbed it in there. It yeah. was a prayer. Yeah, it was a lob, but, I mean, he here's hit the thing. his hands. If he tucks it, he gets to the corner right there. Oh, I think he would have been in. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, he, he had the angle to get to the corner if he just puts it under his arm and and goes but it's going to be second down and goal from the six the regular quarterback number 11 comes in for the Hilltoppers number one in the corner that's where they're going with Jay Sean Swartz or Swartz on the keep nope hands it off no he has it uh, Swartz on the keep He's trying to look, dances a little bit. He's going to be pushed out of bounds. He jumped from like the four-yard line. He stepped out of bounds before he <laughs> jumped, though. And what? <laughs> so clock stops. It's going to be third down and goal from the four. 14 seconds. Can they get to halftime? Are they running the kicker out? No, no. Number six back out there. No, they're going to run him, though. I, I doubt they're going to let him throw it again. That was not the most pretty pass. Unless he Tebow's it, runs up to the lineman, line and dumps it over the top. Which way is he going? He's going. He walked right in. Touchdown, Science Hill, and they punch it in with 11 seconds to go here in the second quarter. And they take a 13-10 to 10 lead pending the extra point. Yeah, that, that Wildcat package that they've brought in with him is lethal. And Anderson County is going to have to make some adjustments in the second half to slow that down. Six, 
I mean, he walked in untouched right there. And there's a penalty on the play. Dead ball encroachment. <clears throat> Penalties decline. They'll kick it from the same spot. Science Hill trying to take a four point lead here. Snap, hold, kick, and it is good. Science Hill leads 14 to 10. 11 seconds left to go here at, at half, or before half. Number 83, Max Tr Tran, is their kicker. He's a senior. Good looking kick. Science Hill's offense is pretty pretty much rolling right now. You know, they've they, they've been able to just, you know, just take the ball right down the field on Anderson County. Anderson County, uh, no stranger to do some pretty crazy things on Special teams. Let's see what happens here. I don't think that uh, Science Hill will kick it deep. I think they'll squib, squib kick it, it like yeah. they have earlier in the ball game. Just try to get out of the half and uh, live to play another day because they do get the ball back. Oh, we still never gave our score predictions. Well, right now I'm gonna go with 14-10. <laughs> well, that's what it is right oh. now. I will say 35-28. I think it'll be a one touchdown game. Who, who, who you got? Who's the winner? Well, I, either as of right now, I mean, you'd have to lean to about Anderson oh, County. My, over the last few years, as we've watched, them, they came back from several games being down. Like last year, the Ray County game, they had three turnovers in a row and came back and won the game. Kicks the ball. It's a squibber. Gets it at the 15, runs it up, steps out That's of bounds. That's going to be a penalty. Yeah. You can't do that, man. That's a 15-yarder on a kickoff. So that gives Anderson County. That's infuriating as a coach. I mean, that's going to put Anderson County near midfield. I mean, he, was, he, he mid gave field. himself up. He stepped out of bounds, and then you push him down. So Anderson County will have a shot to take take a deep shot here. I they, mean, uh, why not? Throw yeah, it to the end zone. It. And that's what I was saying. I mean, if they get this right here, I mean, back and forth, I'm just saying the score could be 35-28. If Anderson County it's gonna be hard to finds do a way a to score. It's going already. Anderson County, listen, if Anderson County finds a way to score here, sure. Anderson County wins 37 to 28. Well, at least you... 37? I, think I didn't think an extra about the, point. I didn't yeah. think about the yeah. three point. I wasn't sitting yeah. thinking. 38. Sorry, 38. Okay, let me refix mine. Let's <laughs> let go. me refix mine. Let's go... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to call 31-28, Anderson County. Oh, you're, you're saying they pull it out? Yeah. I think with... Uh, Who did Science Hill play last week? Oh, I had that up earlier. I don't... Elizabeth. Look. Takes a snap. Throws it, gets out of bounds. 5.8 oh, left. Oh, that gave him some more time on the clock. Yeah. It, it yeah, ran up eight seconds. Yeah. yeah. So he got out of bounds. It stops the clock. 5.8 seconds. I mean, if they do that a couple more times. I don't know if they can do it a couple <laughs> more times. I don't know what type of arms they has, but 
maybe we're about to find out. Take a timeout. Yep, they took a timeout. Well, I tell you what, they were close to field goal range. No, they're gonna have Not to now. go. They're they gonna were. have to they get like know. 15 more yards. Well, that's what I was saying. So they were close. I didn't say they were. I mean, if you had that science hill kicker, you know, a, no, the senior. I mean, he his extra points would would have been good for from 35 yeah. probably. This guy's this year's. Yeah, the one for that just kicked. Yeah, yeah. So Anderson County's got the ball right at the 40 yard line. They're down by four. 1.6 le seconds left to go here in the first half. Are we thinking Hail Mary full of grace, or do you think they have another top play that they're going to draw up, Jared? I, mean, I think you Hook and go, ladder? I think you got to go Hail Mary. I mean, you I mean, got, got Strickland. He's tall. He's really tall. You can put him out there. Uh, you got a couple wide receivers. That you know, I would, put a, I would probably put a tight end top body out there. Because what they can do is, if they get, block. they can get out there and block basically, knock everybody out of the way. So I don't know. We'll see. Legally, of course. I think uh, I think any quarterback at the high school level can throw it forty yards. Yeah. Yeah. Unless they run the option, <laughs> right? <laughs> you want them to pitch at six, <laughs> a four. So. Science Hill only has three guys down. Everybody else is in the backfield. Oh, they're, oh, they're on a screen. Wow. I don't know about that call. I think you got to let your wide receivers take a chance down I don't, the field. I don't hate the call, but you got to get somebody that's a little quicker to catch it. Yeah. Because you still got a lot of... You got a lot of defensive players you got to get around. Anyway, that's halftime. That's halftime, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we'll come back to the studio here real quick as uh, that is your halftime score. Um, Science Hill leads 14-10. to 10. Uh, They will get the ball starting the second half. We will take you back to, um, you know, the bands out on the field, the halftime festivities here in just a second. Uh, but real quick, uh, Dallas, your first half uh, thoughts. I definitely think both teams are finally starting to find their groove a little bit. I think both defenses have played really well, and um, we'll see what each of the offenses do. Because I think it's going to really be an offensive game going in these next two quarters. Yeah, Anderson County's got to figure out a way not to turn the ball over in the second half. Yeah, they they can't they can't afford another turnover. That, that turnover really hurt. And then also, whenever they, they had the ball, they had a touchdown called back for penalties. They had they were getting close to the red zone, got called back for penalties. Uh, those untimely penalties have really hurt them as well. Sure. Um, but uh, that's going to wrap us up for the first half. Once again, Science Hill, Hilltoppers 14. Your host, Anderson County Mavericks 10. Uh, we're going to go back to the field for uh, the bands. It looks like, uh, I believe that's Anderson County's band. Uh, I don't know if Science Hill's band They traveled. may not have traveled right. because of how hot it is. How hot it is, the distance, and everything like that. So uh, we're going to take you back, and it's going to be Anderson County's band out on the field. Enjoy the halftime festivities. And uh, we will see you back here for live second half action on ACTV Sports.
hurry, hurry, hurry. Run to the end zone. Give me the blue plastic, the tarp, and any plastic you got. It's getting ready to pour the rain. Uh, somebody needs to bring me that tarp and that plastic. Hurry. And they're, they're going to they're gonna take down the end zone camera, okay? Yes, please. Okay, thank you.
Hey everybody and welcome back to Football Action here on ACTV. Once again, my name is Lee Forgety. To my left, Jared Forgety. To my right, Dallas Cole. And we're bringing you live uh, football action here tonight from Anderson County. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, start the second half. Looks like there may be some rain. You can see the flags uh, blowing pretty hard there. Uh, looks like there may be a little bit of rain moving into the area. So. I think I think we're good through the third quarter. Fourth quarter might be a different story. Yeah. So uh, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll be able to get that. I don't care about rain. I just don't want any lightning. Maybe this rain will cool off the temperatures a little bit for the, uh, for the players out there. But uh, it, was a, it was a very exciting first half. Um, Anderson County, uh, on the, uh, their first drive, were able to get up a field goal. That's all that they were able to do until they were able to punch one in later in the second quarter. And uh, Science Hill's offense started off slow in the first quarter, and they were able to put up uh, two touches uh, there in the second, uh, mostly behind the back on the back of number six, that uh, Wildcat formation quarterback that they've got. He's been the biggest offense for the uh, Science Hill Hilltoppers tonight. Yeah, especially um, when he's given a hole. I mean, the offensive lines are a really good, good job of clearing him away to just run one right in. I agree with him. I mean, yeah. num number six has been their offense so far. Absolutely. You know, he uh, – He uh, even had a, score, a throwing touchdown. Yeah, almost. Almost. Uh, with his terrible lob. Uh, but, yes, um, he he's a big back. Uh, he's hard to bring down when he can bounce it to the outside. He's – you know, his wide receivers on the outside are doing a really good job of blocking. Absolutely. And shout out to everyone who is watching us there on Facebook, wherever you're watching us. But – uh, I've got the mentions pulled up here on Facebook, so if you'd like to say hi to us or anything, you can always shout us out there. Uh, but uh, thank you all so much for watching, and we couldn't do these uh, these games and everything without you, uh, without the uh, Anderson County government, uh, the Office of Technology here uh, at Anderson County Schools, Andy and Ron and everybody, and everybody's so great to uh, you know let us do this every year, and we love uh you know celebrating these kids and uh bringing you football and volleyball and everything else that we do basketball r wrestling no i can't forget wrestling cheer we are doing softball now oh yeah we have uh coming up on uh september 16th jared won't be there because he's got his anniversary or something like that uh but uh you're gonna be down in florida i believe i am and uh, but we're gonna do the softball game man, for the county man and city. Lee's got it. You and Lee got to hold down the fort. Oh, hey, uh, Andy, if I'm not mistaken, he played in this game last year. I, I, I think is he's he gonna play this again year. this year? Yeah. Oh, so, shout you'll out have our, at least uh, one player that you can heckle the whole uh, time. Oh, and don't worry, we will. <laughs> and uh, aren't we technically county employees? We are. Yeah. Why? Why haven't we been asked to play? We've got faces for TV, bodies for radio. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm a big fan of slow pitch softball now. Yeah, it'd be fun. Well, I mean, you can leave it to Dallas Cole to do all I the play-by-play. Play. Play. No, I would commentate and, and play. You can do that now. Hey, you I'll be back in five it. minutes. I'm. <laughs> oh go. no, there's no. clips on these. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've seen you swing a bat. That you wouldn't fall off. It would be okay. Oh, wait a minute now. <laughs> But uh, we're getting ready to come back. They put a couple more minutes on the uh, halftime warm-ups for the teams. I'm not a big fan of that, especially with the potential weather moving in. But we'll see. We'll see what they get to do and uh, see if this wind that uh, that you see on your TV with those flags uh, is going to affect uh, any of the games game going on tonight. Oh, that's not good to hear. Uh, according to my headset here, Ryan told me that Harriman and Wartburg are currently on a lightning delay. So and that's moving this way. And Jared, so you're uh, you're you're my other man getting prediction. Off till, like, I'm still I'm that's like 40 miles from here. Depending on how fast it's Tw moving. 20. It's 20. It's what, a 48. It's a 48 miles minute from drive. here. It's a 45 minute drive. 28 mile, miles from here. We still got a long way to come. I think we're good. Until the fourth quarter. It's a 45-minute drive because I drove it. But we can't be putting no. We can't be putting two more minutes on the halftime clock. Okay, we got to get this game going. Yeah. We don't even, we don't even 
we even have uh, our red hat guy out on the field. That's what Dallas is going to do next season. He's going to be the red hat guy for all of our uh, sponsorship breaks that we don't have. <laughs> and <laughs> Brought to you by Anderson County Government. And, uh, <laughs> and also, we'll give a little score update as the uh, – West Rebels is leading the Clinton Dragons 41 to 6 with 7 minutes to go in the third quarter. Yeah, the, the West Rebels are just a fantastic football team they this are. year. They're, they're a going, juggernaut. They're going to run through their conference, their district and conference. Yeah. They're going to make a, a deep run in the playoffs and I wouldn't be surprised if they're uh, at the state championship game again this year. Couldn't agree more. I tell you what, Jed, whenever we went down to the uh the state championship game this past season that was a lot of fun to cover heck yeah that was a lot of fun to be able to be down there and be on the field and uh, see tony lambert and you know celebrate and all the coaches and players and i just say tony because we have you know we, we both well, knew just, him when he was you know there. he he was our defensive coordinator when i was playing football and he's just a super guy and a good friend and um, it was good to see him after all these years of coaching finally get to go and win a a, a state championship and um, so that was awesome and we do apologize uh, for the we do have some rain covering on some of our uh, cameras so if you see that in front of your screen I apologize but we do also have to protect our equipment I'm so. saying if I'm a kicker I want to kick it now because it's going to go on top of the uh, <laughs> field house as hard he, as he make that it, he make it kick it to the ACCTC yeah. Yeah. Hey, Dallas, go outside and see if you can catch this one. <laughs> oh, yep. oh, yeah. That one was a touchback. I don't want to be kicking against the wind. I mean, the if I'm not mistaken, the kicker was kicking like 42-yard field goals out here. With that wind, I could see it. Uh, deer in halftime. So it's going to be first and 10 from the 20 for Science Hill. And it looks like they may just go with number six as their running back slash quarterback to start off the uh, second half. I don't know why why they wouldn't. I mean, he's had more success than anybody against Anderson County's defense tonight. Well, you can control the clock. You uh, control the line of scrimmage and with a lead can, can control a lead um, if you're able to run the football. And that's his shortest gain of the night. He only picks up two yards. Or maybe less. It looks like less. Maybe a yard. A little over a yard. We'll give you two. So it's second down and long for the Hilltoppers. Takes a snap. He changes direction. Runs back towards the middle of the field and picks up a few yards there before he's taken down by a herd of Mavericks. So third down and three, two, third down and two for the Hilltoppers. Regular quarterback has come in. So they're kind of playing it opposite starting off. The, the change of pace quarterback came in for the first two downs and now third and short is the regular quarterback. Well, they, they leave their option. Get oh. the ball, get the ball. Hilltoppers recover, but after a big loss, takes them back to the original line of scrimmage. He's down around the 20, and that's going to be fourth down. And I do not want to be punting into this wind right now. No. Number six comes in. Hilltopper's going to go for it here. Is he their punter as well? I guess so. They're they're rolling the clock. I, I would watch the fake right here. 100%. He gets the punt away. You want to keep it low, but nah. it didn't go anywhere. Anderson yeah. County's going to get some great field position. They only netted about 15 yards off that kick. Yeah, they're going to get some great field position here as they get their first opportunity from under center. 17 uh, yards. I mean, this is going to be uh, – I mean, that was a great defensive stand by Anderson County. Yes. And I think it was poor play calling by Science Hill. I, I, I don't get that. 
I mean, I know that, you know, it was a bad snap. In this wind, with the wind going against right. you, you might as well run it twice and ho and try to get that first down. And the thing is, Science Hill's the one that picked the direction at the beginning of the game. Flag comes in. Looks like in the area of holding. Let's see what the call is. I mean, you don't. Holding against the Mavericks. I don't remember the wind blowing quite like that uh, at the beginning of the game. That's why every high school team needs a meteorologist on their staff. <laughs> Can we call Matt Hinkin? <laughs> so it's first and 20 now for the Mavericks. As there was a holding call on that one. First and long. Just over 10 minutes left to go here in the third quarter. They're coming after him. Hand off up the middle, and he's not able to get anywhere. He may have picked up half yard to a yard, but that's going to be it, second down and long. I don't know if Anderson County is afraid of this wind to get the ball in the air. I mean, I understand. Even, even the referee and the umpire's pants are blowing in the wind right now. So second down and 19 for the Mavericks. Takes the snap. He lets it go deep. There was a miscommunication there because that is not the route he ran. Not yeah. at all. He was looking. He threw a go route and he had broke it off like a post. Yeah, way overthrew him. Third down and long. Stops the clock. Third and 19. What's your third and 19 play, Jared? The oop to oop He scrambling, gets the ball away. Picks up a few yards there. Gets it back to about 11 yards. So it's going to be fourth and 11 for Anderson County. I mean, send the kicker. Yeah. That'd be a record. Be like a 54-yard field goal. <laughs> Let me see those flags again. Let's see. Let's see how hard that wind's blowing. If they were 10 yards closer, I'd say yeah. I would say send him out there. So fourth and long for the Mavericks. He drops back. He's deep. Waiting to see if somebody gets open. He throws it deep. Has a receiver. He had two. Oh. Incomplete, and that's going to be a turnover on downs for Anderson County. He had him in the end zone. I like the I like the gutsy play call, but incomplete. He had two receivers there, and only one defender. So that's a turnover on downs. Neither one of these offenses have been able to do much here early in the second half. But uh, the Hilltoppers take over on downs. First and 10 from the 42. No, other way. 38 yard line. There you go. Huh. I was not looking at the. <laughs> Taking down at around the 42, picks up about four there. Did y'all hear that too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lee shook his head like, what are you talking about? So second down and six for the Hilltoppers. Chase down from behind, spun down. He was able to pick up. Maybe three? Uh, yeah, about three more yards. It's going to be third down and three. So they've got rid of the other chain. 
<coughs> like they have the normal one, and then they have that new electronic one. I didn't know that. Right. That's pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't see. And, and if you look at that other one, it actually tells you how many yeah, the yards, four yards to go. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't know that. So I was looking for it the whole game. I was like, where's it at? And then I realized. <laughs> so it's going to be a timeout called by the Hilltoppers. Just under eight minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Science Hill still leads Anderson County 14-10. to 10. Both offenses have had a chance at, the rain with started? the ball. Looks like the rain has started. Hmm. I hope your weather prediction was really off. It's not that off. <laughs> the end of the third. You have eight more minutes. We're like... A game third? time that could be we're a third away through the third if they hadn't added those two extra minutes at the end of halftime we'd be That's basically true. there you'd be pretty close <laughs> thanks guys <laughs> we're trying to help you out yeah. give you a little boost of confidence appreciate it oh yeah it has look at that yeah the rain's coming down there at Anderson County now so who do you think this benefits well with Moog out uh, I think it's the Hilltoppers. 100%. If I were the Hilltoppers, I'd put number six in and just let him go to town. Even if you put him in at running back and just hand him the ball. Yeah, I do find that a little interesting. Ball oh. on the ground. Yeah, it hit his butt. They fumbled, ball. It. they fumbled it. Looked like the old butt fumble. And Anderson County comes away with it. So first and ten Mavericks after the turnover. <laughs> that reminds me of the replacements. Are you going to get me that football? Are you going to get me that football? I'm going to get you that football. <laughs> <laughs> now go sit down, Timmy. <laughs> With the rain coming down, it's really going to affect the play calling, depending on how hard it's coming down. It looked like it's coming down pretty good, though. Hands off to number two. He takes it over around the side. Nice, nice run there. Run. He picks up almost to the, about the 35-yard line. Oh. Second down and four for the Mavericks. The Hilltoppers oh, thought they had uh, come up with like Probably, a yeah. maybe a strip. Like they had stripped the ball. Another handoff, this time inside. He's going to be about a yard or so short of the first down. Well, he got a good spot there. We'll see. Yeah, he's still going to be about a yard short. Did you see how he walked? Did anybody else notice that? Mm -mm. He didn't walk in a straight line. I'll just say that. Third and two for the Mavericks. <laughs> Another handoff. He gets around to the outside, picks up the first down on that one, and is taken out of bounds by number six, or number five. I can't tell. Yeah, it's number five for uh, Science Hill. Is that Reggie Bush? <laughs> yeah. Not a cornerback. He has filed a defamation lawsuit against the NCAA. Oh, has he? Yeah. Is he trying to get his Heisman back? Oh, I'm sure that's probably in the lawsuit. I don't know if the NCAA has much to do with that. That's the New York What's Football the, Association. The, yeah, the, or the, the Heisman Trust. Yeah. So first and ten, another handoff. Picks up a nice chunk of yards. Anderson County is really running the ball well this on this drive. Yeah, especially better than what they did the first half. There's a lot more lines doing a lot better of holding their um, blockers and creating a big enough hole for them. Yeah, it seems like the uh, offensive line coach had a talk with his lineman and has challenged them a little bit, and they've uh, answered the call so far in this drive. Second and six. He's rolling out. He falls. They're going to say he was down. They're going to call it incomplete. 
I thought his butt hit before he let go of the ball. That's a positive in Anderson County's favor there if uh, been able to get the ball away. Yeah, third and six for the Mavericks. Zay is ready to take the snap. He's looking. Pump fakes. Trying to find somebody open. Rolls back to the other side. Throws it across his body and is caught. First, First down, down, Anderson County. Strickland. Excellent catch there by Strickland. Way not to give up on the play. And Zay found his wide receiver and made a very good throw to him. So Anderson County continues to march down the field. Zay's taking his towel and it looks, appears he has a visor on his helmet and having to use the towel to clear the visor off. So Zay in the shotgun once again. Play action. He rolls, throws it into the end zone. Do I see hands? Touchdown, uh, Anderson Strickland. County. Strickland. Man, he's had down. a huge game. He's had a huge game. A couple of great catches in the first half and has capped off this drive with two important catches. So Anderson County is going to take the lead with 544 to go here in the third quarter. Uh, Anderson County pending the extra point will go up 17-14. Pending the extra point. Again, there's the glitter confetti going. Evidently, they may have a confetti cannon or something. All right. That stuff may blow around for a while in this wind. The kick is up, and it is good. Anderson County does indeed tack on the extra point, and they now lead 17-14. to 14. Number one is the holder. That's Andrea Russell's son. She had one graduate last year that was on that championship team. Uh, played lots on defense, was wide receiver. Mm -hmm. Tate. Yeah, Tate Russell. And in fact, I think he came up with a big catch. Oh, yeah. In that state championship game. Or an interception. There was something he did. I think it was an interception. I think it was an interception. Ben Downs probably watching this on the sidelines there. Yeah, that's what it was. I guarantee it. Social medias are for Anderson County High School. He's like a proud papa down there. Did you see him taking all those pictures? They got the band. and So with five and 549 left to go, Anderson County with a three-point lead. They lead Science Hill 17-14. to 14. So here come the Mavericks getting ready to kick off. On all the kickoffs, they're having to have a holder. Evidently, there was some sort of penalty on Science Hill. So Anderson County is going to kick it off from the other 45-yard line. Is this where you try an onside kick? Not with this wind. If he kicks it from here, he might actually be able to kick it into the parking no, lot. Yeah. No, I'm serious, though. Like, what do you have to lose? I mean, it's a difference of about 10 yards if you kick it in the end zone versus an onside kick. Yep. Just a thought. And the kick is up. Almost kicked it through the uprights. He pooch kicked it. So, Science Hill will take over first and 10 at the 20. So Science Hill comes up to the line. Let's see who the quarterback is. Quarterback looks like now is number one for Science Hill. 
And this that is, is number one. Let's go check him. Uh, Emmett Watson. He's a wide receiver and a D-back. Oh, big hit by number 75. 75 came across the line and really didn't let him go anywhere. Grayson Bradshaw. He was a captain of tonight's game. He was out there and good hit there by Bradshaw. Good sized kid. Uh, plays offense. It looks like he's hungry the way he's rubbing his belly. He wants to be fed more. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's is open late. <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> runs into the line great stop there by Anderson County's defensive line once again and linebackers once again Science Hill other than number six has not been able to get anything going tonight offensively yeah I don't understand why he, he's not in the game or why they're or why they're not changing it up a little bit, you know, try to sink in a little bit more on the out run instead of up the middle. They try to run the same play with that other uh, running oh, back. Oh. And this time they had the running back come out of the backfield. He tries to make a cut, but that turf is starting to get wet and get a little slick, and he was tripped up by the turf monster there before he got to the 50-yard line. It's going to be first and 10 Hilltoppers from the 48. Handoff goes up the middle, and this Ooh. time he's got a gap. Oh, he, he's gone. He's at yeah. the 30, 20, not able to catch him from behind. No penalties on the field. Touchdown, Hilltoppers, number JV three. On Emily. Big run there by their uh, senior running back, and they were able to score. And Science Hill takes the lead back, 20 to 17. And that's what we were just talking about, how they really not found the run. And up the middle, and then somehow the guards held their block and they made found it really good. Yeah, they found it there on that play. That's what I was trying to say. Basically. Absolutely. Well, that pass before kind of set that up, though. You know. Yeah. And the kick is no good. Was it blocked? No, no it was a bad snap. It, it it skipped, and then the holder wasn't able to get a hold of it, and the kicker was already up, ready to kick it by the time the holder picked it up. So the kicker tried to kick it without any step or anything, just tried to swing his leg and knock it up and through, and it was no good. So uh, Science Hill still uh, leads Anderson County by three, 20 to 17. But now Science Hill has to kick into this wind. Yeah, I think it'll make for uh, interesting special teams. I think this kick could be really short, depending on how hard that wind's blowing right now. You really have to make your line adjustments, you know, f on your kickoff based on that. There's no penalty, so they'll kick off for the regular spot, but you may want to bring your, ba your backs up and right. kind of adjust the spacing a little bit. You don't really want anybody standing back around the goal line if the wind's blowing as hard as it was earlier. What do I do? <laughs> so here come the Hilltoppers. I don't know where they're... I was wondering where their recovery, their uh, special team was. Team? Yeah. <laughs> Kick is away. Catches about the 15. 15. Gets out to the 25. Spun around close to the 30. And that's where Anderson County will take over. First and 10 Mavericks from the right at the 30 yard line number eight looks like he's cramping up or something the way that legs turned out hopefully that's all it is
I think he got Ella's dog poop on his shoe. <laughs> his foot was up. So here come the Mavericks. She's better behaved than that. Who am I kidding? Nice run by LaRue. Oh, he He's gone. 40. He gone. 50. 40. Get it, son. 30. I don't know because we oh. got camera angles. <laughs> I was keeping up with him until they changed the camera angles, and I don't know exactly where he is. Pushed out of bounds. Looks like at the night or at the 14-yard line. Look at that. The first one down there to greet him is 57. <laughs> Excellent run there by LaRue. He just found that hole, same type hole that uh, Science Hill was able to find on their big run. Did they take a timeout? First down. I haven't seen a signal by the referee. But I mean, it's a, a timeout. <clears throat> so 3.53 left. LaRue's cramping. That could be why Angus County took the timeout. No move. You can't go back in the game. You don't even have cleats on. You know he wants to get in there. You know, it's senior year, you're playing a team like Science Hill, traditionally a very strong team. Uh, you know, having to sit out this game, uh, that's, that's no fun. No. No, you don't want to... Uh... You don't ever want to sit out of any game, you know. Uh, I'm not sure what his injury is. Hopefully it's nothing too serious, and we'll see him back out there real, really soon. But, um, you know, being a senior, you want to get every snap in you can. And just a reminder, the next uh, ACTV broadcast will be on September 16th, and that is the county versus city uh, softball game. And uh, we look forward to bringing you that one. Uh, once again, Jared will be out. Dallas and I will be calling that game. It uh, should be uh, should be fun. I'm very excited for it. Dallas, you pulling for the county or the city? I mean, I work for the county, so I have to go county. <laughs> that's, so. what, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to try to trap you. No. Do you, is the uh, county clerk playing in this game? I don't know if he is or not. I ain't heard much about it from any of them. I mean, it's kind of like watching that Republicans versus Democrats baseball game they do every year. Like 70-year-old men running around the bases, you know. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> – I think it's actually pretty cool, though. It is. It, it's it is cool. Do. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I'll ask when I get back. So home. I think the uh, the police department and the fire department also have a basketball game against one another. They do down at the center. We need to get it on ACTV. Oh, there was an injury, another injury that we didn't see. Looks like one of the linemen, number seventy-eight, being helped off the field. He's not putting any weight on that, on that foot. Looks like that's uh, Connor Isabel. He's rolling out. He had his running back out to the in, in the flat, but he turned around too late, and the running back was already starting to roll with the play to try to be be able, be able to be open for him. Could we stream it only, Ryan? Yeah. So second down and ten. Second and ten for the Mavericks. They're in the red zone. Hand off again to LaRue. He cuts it up the field. He's still fighting. Nice run there by LaRue. Gets inside the ten down to about the eight. And it'll be third down and three for the Mavericks. Yeah, I don't know what it is about LaRue, but it's like a lot has come on in the last six or seven minutes of this football game. 
And we do have a final for you. Dragons 12, Rebels 44. So here comes Anderson County. Takes a snap. Hands it off to LaRue once again. Jared, and he's carrying them forward. He picks up the first down. It's going to be first and goal, Anderson County, as he gets inside the five-yard line. Good hard run there by LaRue. Yeah, well, it's like I said, it, it seems like in the last just a few minutes. Like the last five minutes. Yeah, anyway. LaRue has really, you know, come on. And um, he's he's carrying defenders, and he's running hard. He's running downhill. So first and goal, three minutes left to go here in the third. Anderson County on the three-and-a-half to four-yard line. Handoff to LaRue. Touchdown. Did he get in? Touchdown, Mavericks. LaRue punches it in from three to four yards out, and Anderson County oh, takes the lead Oh, that's a big – that's a that, – number six for Science Hill is down. It looks – maybe it's probably just a cramp. It's probably just a cramp, but he's starting to struggle with some cramps. That's – that might have been why he, he was out, and they ran the same type of play with a different right. player. So number 20 for the Mavericks is in to tack on the extra point. Anderson County with a bad snap. That weather, I believe, is coming into play, Jared. Yeah, the not enough wet ball drills early in the season. 23 to 20, Anderson County leads. They could have stretched the lead out to four. But both teams now have missed an extra point. So uh, Anderson County leads now 23 to 20. Under three minutes left to go here in the third. Our score predictions might actually end up being pretty close. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, there's already been as many points scored in the third quarter as we had in the first half. Mm -hmm. And there's still almost three minutes to go. Oh, I know. it's It's been an exciting half so far. Again, if you're just joining us, thank you so much for tuning in with us. If you're watching us on a streaming device like on Facebook or Twitter or, well, X right. or uh, some, something of that nature, uh, and you'd rather watch us on TV, you can always go to ACTV Channel 95 on Comcast and Channel 99 on UVerse. Um, and if you have a Roku oh, device... Oh, buffed on the kick. It never went into the end zone. Science Hill has to bring it out. And he has stopped it around, looks like, about the 15-yard line. That's not good field position for the Hilltoppers. Good special teams play. But if you are watching us, uh, uh, you can also watch us at AndersonCounty.tv. And um, there's actually a couple of a on Apple TV and Roku. And you can actually get the app for Anderson County TV. Anderson County Television. And um, watch, watch us there. So here comes Science Hill, hands it off, and he stopped for a loss back behind the 20-yard line. It's going to be a two- to three-yard loss for Science Hill on that one. Great defensive play there by Anderson County. Looks like there might have been a little miscommunication in the backfield for Science Hill um, as the, run the other running back and the quarterback were having a discussion there. Well, they gave him forward progress, so it's only a one-yard loss for the Hilltoppers. He gets out to about the 20 yard line. Another score of interest in the third quarter. Bearden is leading the Alcoa, the Bearden Bulldogs are leading the Alcoa Tornadoes 16 to 10. If I'm not mistaken, Hatton Alcoa won like eight state championships in a row. Something at this point. And then Elizabethan and Morristown Hamblin West is at 
a delay right now, but the Cyclones are up 20 to 7. And then you have the Pal Panthers versus Far Farragut Admirals, and the score is 21 to 20. Incomplete pass there. Sorry about uh, Who's leading up. that one, Pal? Pal's up on Farragut. And Was then, it is in the third? What does it say? It's in the third quarter. And then Greenville Green Devils and Dobbins Bennett Indians. They are delayed in the third quarter, but it is a tie game at 14 to 14. And then uh, Greenville, Greenville was a power house when I was in school. They, my junior and senior at, year, they won back to back state championships. And, the, and that one, Anderson County had such a hard time getting past there for a few years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Halls is up 21 to 10 on the Gibbs Eagles in the fourth quarter. Um, Kingston is up on Oliver Springs. 30 oh, nice 14. move. Did you see a spin move? Yeah. Anderson County's going to get great field position again on the. And then around uh, the forty-yard line, Fulton, the Fulton Falcons are up on the Campbell County Cougars, twenty-four to nineteen at half. And then William Blunt is up thirty-five to seven on the Carnes Beaver at half. And uh, do you see Marion County on there? Not yet. And then the Maryville, Maryville beat Central fifty-two to six. Oof. So here comes Anderson County again. First and 10 from uh, the Hilltoppers 40. Another handoff to LaRue. He dances to the outside. He's not able to get anything going. As Maybe a the, yard. Uh, linebacker number 21 gets a hold of him and brings him down for a very short gain. Thanks, Dallas, for the update for those uh, scores of interest. Appreciate it. But we're in the middle of uh, high school football season. And it's uh, it's fun to see all these games going on. I love football. <laughs> it's the most wonderful time. It's the most wonderful time. Play action inside of the year. Incomplete pass attempted to number six. <laughs> but one of the Hilltoppers lost his helmet, so he'll have to come out of play. 31.6 seconds left to go here in the third. Anderson County driving. Well, they got the ball at the 40. And uh, it's third down and nine still for the Anderson County Mavericks. Three wide receivers set for the Mavs. Two to the bottom, one to the top. They got a tight end in. LaRue in the backfield with Zane Hall. Hall takes the snap. He's rolling out. Let's it go. Complete. Nice, nice pat. Nice pitch and catch there between Hall and number 10 for the Mavericks, Dalen Cole. Picks up the first down. Excellent play there for the Mavericks. First and 10. They still lead 23 to 20 with about 25 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Handoff to LaRue. He gets around the corner, gets down to about the 25 yard line where he's taken down. It'll be second down and long for the Mavericks. And that's going to take you to the end of the third quarter. At the end of three, your score, Anderson County 23, Science Hill 20. Guys, that was a that was a fun third quarter to watch. A lot of offense, uh, you know, some special teams plays that didn't go right for either team, uh, but that equaled out. And overall, this has been a very evenly played game so far. I would agree. I think that Anderson County, though, in the last probably eight minutes uh, is starting to – show some resilience um, and they've got the home field advantage so the home field crowd I'll be interested to see what happens the next 12 minutes I think Anderson County has the potential of putting a couple more scores on the board here in the fourth quarter and pulling this one out one well, and the thing is is with Anderson County here they've got big Mo on their side and once you get once you get Mo switched around and momentum uh, you know, it, 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 it running the ball and all the plays and everything seemed to be a little bit easier. So 
So they do switch sides. So Anderson County will be going into the win here in the fourth quarter. You know, we're starting to see some uh, cramping and things here in the second half, but really it's it's uh, played less of a role than I thought it would. I thought that we would have a lot more uh, cramping injuries. So, you know, kudos to these coaches and training staff for keeping their guys hydrated. Second and seven for the Mavs. Another handoff to LaRue. They've, they've relied on him pretty heavy here in the second half, and he's done a good job so far. Took a hard hit there. It's going to be third and about five, I think. LaRue may start, may be winded a little bit. He's still out there, though. This is always a good sign. So you got three wide receivers bunched to the top of the screen, one to the bottom. The center's butt moved. Ball start, Anderson County. That takes it from third to third and five to third and ten. Changes up your play call quite drastically. So now they go to their more traditional three spread out to the top one at the bottom. Hall in the shotgun. Takes a snap. He's looking. He's got some, he feels some pressure, steps up in the pocket, picks up enough yards, gets a first down, nice block by the receiver. But he does pick up enough yards for a first down. Nice run there by Hall. Yeah, he's got some wheels. They need to, they need to utilize that more. I don't know, I kind of like saving it for when you need it. Well, it's a three point game with 10 minutes and 30 seconds to go in the fourth. Well, and the other thing is, is coming into the season, they didn't think that they would need it because, you know, you got a stud like Moog in the backfield. And when he when he goes out with injury and your other your next running back up, LaRue, who's had a heck of a third quarter, uh, he's starting to get a little winded. Then you do have to change things up a little bit. Handoff to LaRue right up the middle. Pushes forward. Nice run there. Pick up a five probably. See where they spot him. Anderson County has to get down to the eight, it looks like, for a first down. And they're at the, what, 14? Yeah. So about six yards left for the Mavericks. Hall's looking, not able to find anybody, throws it into the end zone, incomplete. Dangerous pass that time. He really didn't have any pressure, but w we were talking about him scrambling. I wish he would have been able to step up and scramble a little bit. He might be able to pick up the first down. Well, he scrambled to this, this side, but it's like he didn't think about going back to the other side. I mean, that's a little dangerous. You don't want to be scrambling all over the place. Not very many people are Brett Favre, but, uh, you know, Brett Favre. So Hall's in the shotgun. Two wide receivers to the top and a tight end on that side. One to the bottom. LaRue in the backfield with Hall. Hall takes a snap. He's open. He goes to the end zone. Touchdown. They're going to say no catch. They're talking about it. I don't know, man. <laughs> he caught the ball. His feet came down in bounds. They both had possession. Uh, I mean, they both had, had they both had possession. Well, of it. Yeah, that doesn't really that matter. It, it, was a it goes to the receiver. Yeah. Huh. It was close. We need those pylon cameras. I wonder how much those would be <laughs> to add to the uh, ACTV tech budget.
Four wide receivers set. They're spread. He's looking. He drifts back, and he's all the way back to the 38-yard line. Let's it go to the corner. Well, we know he can throw it 40. <laughs> 50. I guess that's 50. So, turnover on downs. Right there with that wind blowing the way it was. Science Hill's defense oh, really. Turnover on downs? I thought it was third down. No, that's fourth. Wow. Dallas, you've been asleep for the last three minutes. I've not been asleep. <laughs> I, just, I just really don't keep up with the downs. First and ten Hilltoppers from the 14. Last time I checked, the downs were doing okay. I, I texted <laughs> Ben earlier. Another dad joke there. <laughs> Number 11's out on the He's run. He's rolling out to the right. They kept that. Number 48 did a great job on spying him. Yeah. Didn't, didn't commit up, and he stayed in his uh, zone and then ran him out of bounds. Nice play there. Pickup of about four. One day, Dallas, you'll have uh, jokes like me. One day, <laughs> if you're lucky. Quarterback's rolling out again. He keeps it. Taken down just past the 20 at about the 22. Should be about two yards short of the first down. About a yard short. I believe they got to get out to the 24. So third down and short for the Hilltoppers. Hands it off to number 20. He picks, oh no. Good play. I don't think he got there. I don't either. See where forward progression gets him out to. See what kind of spot he gets. Got a Anderson County Maverick down with some cramps. All right, with that spot, he's going to be real close. They may give it to him. Yeah, on any of these play stoppages, you're getting water to everybody, whether they want it or not. They need to be taking their salt pills. <laughs> 1973 called and they want their uh, salt pills back. It's liquid IVs now. There's plenty of sodium in those. I, I can't drink them. We talked about that last week, though. If he's cramping bad enough, you'll drink anything that'll keep you from cramping. I remember when we were kids, I had a cramp so bad I flopped out of the top bunk. I remember. <laughs> That was at our house on Bethel. Oh my gosh. Literally, Dallas. I, he, he fell. He locked up. There was a couple. There was one I had in class one time. It was probably the worst one I ever had. I had to walk around the classroom for 15 minutes. I couldn't sit down. It was in um, personal finance. Are you investing? A little bit. Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Got a little crypto going. Real estate. I wish I had real estate. <laughs> <laughs> Worth a lot more. In my eyes, at least. Well, they're not making any more of it, so. Mm -hmm. So we got about. Uh, still trying to stretch out Anderson County's injured player there. There's number 15 for the Mavericks linebacker. Cody Miller. Is that right? Mm hmm. Look at me. We're getting there. So they give him the first. No, they're going to say he's short. Yeah. Number six is back in there. He goes to the outside. He go, he go. 
He ain't that gone, was a but... smart play. Yeah. Man, he's been all over it tonight on the field with those little, what is it, fourth and one plays. I mean, I, th I really think he's four for four on them. Maybe five for five. But here's the thing. When the majority of them, except for that one that he dove over the top, he's taken to the outside. Yeah. And you, you've got to prepare for that. And you can't t pack everybody inside or he's just going to run it to the out. You know, he's he's done that so well, he's got to have the option while he's back there. Yeah. Where if everybody comes to the inside, he takes it out. And if they spread out, he dives over the top to get the first down. Yeah. He just outran, you know, he just outran him to the outside. I mean, that's plain and simple. He was able to get to the outside and picked up, what, 30 yards? Well, they, they've definitely flipped the field at this point. But there's a flag on the play. Of course there is. They may have broke the huddle with too many players. Yeah, there were 37 people out there. Because they keep counting. That's 11. 11. Well, I don't know if somebody's run off because they did have a flag. Yeah, he's hiding over there behind the sticks. Yeah, you, you have to have somebody that's actually running off before you break the huddle. Well, they are going back. Wow. Wow. Is that illegal procedure? I think it was too many men on the field. Well, no, that's a big one. Yeah, wow. That's what, a 15-yarder? That delay? No, that's not delayed. I'm not sure what that was. I'm not convinced he gave us the right signal. It's well, hot out there. Why don't you text one of your insiders on the field and see what they said it was? My insiders? Time out by Science Hill. Let me see if I can figure out what was going on there. How many pairs of white shoes can they get on the field at once? I don't know. Those are some bright white ones, though. I mean... Oh, there's... The referee has black ones on. I think a lot of coaches and kids have switched to white ones, though, because you can't really get them dirty anymore because it's all turf. So they wouldn't get mud all over them. That's true. I'd pop a little bit more. And I did have, I saw where somebody asked about Oak Ridge's game. They actually do not play tonight. They play Thursday night coming up at, versus Powell at home. They played Thursday night? No, they played this coming so up. So they had a bye this week? Yes. Or, no, they played the, they it, played I on. I think they played the night. No, they had a game against Jeffco last week on Saturday yeah. on the 19th, and they don't have another game until the 31st. Okay. They must be playing during fall break. Well, their fall break is what? That's it's two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah. Throws it downfield. Oh, man, he had him, too. That would have been a huge gain. Yeah, because they need 25 yards. Now it's third and 25. That was a heck of a play right there, and he, the wide receiver just wasn't able to come down with it. It's third in Lake City. <laughs> you mean Rocky Top? Third in Cold Creek. Third in the air base. Oh, wow. And he's, he 
he's able to pick up some yards, gets past the 50 again, but he's going to be taken down short of the original line of scrimmage. Bring up fourth down, but he had blockers. Looks like the other punter is out there this time, number 83. <clears throat> I don't think he's quite the threat to fake it as number six was. It's either short yardage punter or the long yardage punter. Yeah. <laughs> Anderson County's lining up like they're ready for a fake. Gets the punt away. Nice punt. Not much Nice return time. over yeah. the past the 30. Short of the 35, he'll be down around the 33, and Anderson County will take over on downs. And there he goes, cramping. 83, Max Trent. <laughs> Eight's cramping. We got one from each team. Oh, both legs. As we get a nice shot of the student section there. Looks to be neon night. You know it'd be cool? What's well, that? you guys probably wouldn't think it'd be cool, but I think it would be cool. If we find out before we do the game what the student section is dressing up as. For each team and then do and it. And then we dress up in solidarity. I'm, I'm down for with it. With said team. I'm down for it. Like, I saw some friends from over in Powell. Apparently it was, it was frat night. <laughs> well, I've never been in a... I've never been, I've never been in a frat, but you have. I was never in a frat. You were in a fraternity. I was, a, I was a part of a fraternity. Well, frat is short for fraternity. No, it's not. I've never been. I, I can't, I can't tell you on air what what people in the fraternity would say if you called it a frat. Well, you can tell me afterwards. Sounds good. So fourth down and long, or no, first and 10 for the Mavericks after the punt. From the 35 yard line. Mm -hmm. 640 left in the game. Clock. They'd like to eat up a lot of this clock with 640 to go. LaRue around the outside, he spun down. He got about to the original line, the back to the line of scrimmage and not much more. You gotta run the football. Second down and 10 for the Mavericks. So you got two wide receivers and the tight end on the bottom side of your screen. One wide receiver up to the top. Hand off again to LaRue. Tries to turn the yards. corner. That linebacker tripped him up. He gained a couple, but it's going to be third and long for the Mavericks. Big play for Sons who are right here. They're going to have to go to the air. Yeah, I don't think you can run the ball in this situation. Screen play. There's still too much time. I mean, if you're if you're under three minutes or so, I get running the ball here and running the clock down and yeah, making them go the distance. But you got five minutes and 30 yeah. seconds. That's a lot of time. Hall takes the snap. Screen pass Ooh. incomplete. Man, he had and it. And they too. had it too. Fourth down and eight for the Mavericks, and that incomplete pass stops. That incomplete pass stops the clock. So Mavericks in pump formation. Blue, blue, set. Kick is away. I thought it might be false start on Anderson County right there. 
Not a great punt, but not a bad one either. But like you said, they're kicking into the wind. Unless the wind has flipped, we've not seen the flags in a little bit. So first and go or first and ten for the Hilltoppers from the 37 yard line. They've got 63 yards to go with five minutes and 17 seconds left to try to get the lead. Quarterback keep, but gets stopped at the line by number seven for the Mavericks. He may have picked up one on the play. Number seven is... Uh, Landon Engel. My stop there by Engel. Anderson County in their 4-3 defense. Pitches it out, and he's surrounded. He had three Mavericks out there waiting for that pitch. Oh, triple off. They read that one. Yeah. But that's just good discipline football following the flow of the play. I love a good triple option, though. Back in the day, when Oregon ran it all the time. Mm -hmm. and Third and eight for the Hilltoppers. Quarterback's rolling out to his right, throws it deep. We've got a man, and catch. he's on his feet. He's and he takes it to the house. Oh, number one. Number one for the Hilltoppers. Touchdown, Science Hill. Emmett Watson, senior. Huge play for the Hilltoppers right there. By Watson? I think he's got it. So 26-23 Science Hill with an extra point coming. They're going to take a delay a game. They don't have enough guys on the field. They have 10. You can play with 10 can't play with 12. Ooh. Oh, and the snap, it's a bad snap. And he just falls on it. You can play with 10, you can't play with 12. I don't know why they didn't just snap the football and kick the ball. They started freaking out because they didn't have a guy out there. <coughs> well, we need to see what the penalty's for that's down there. There's no penalty for 10 men on the field. Right, but there's a penalty down there. I'm not sure what the call is. Are they going to get the real, uh, re I don't think they're going to get the re-kick in there, Ron. No. So Anderson County technically only needs a field goal to tie. To tie to keep the game going. Yes. Four minutes left to go. We got some drama lead. brewing here, folks. We do. But we got some high drama down on the I don't think you'll be in home the corral. at one. I think you'll be home earlier. That's my prediction. Oh, uh, one. You said you were going to be home at one. We got 15 minutes till 11. Yeah, but then we got to wait on them to tear down, get back here, and unload it. And then for me, from here, it's about a 20-minute drive home. I say 1240. When you <laughs> <make it. laughs> I'll text you. <laughs> I made it home, Dallas. <laughs> I'm good. Are they, are they re kicking it? I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, it looks like they're re-kicking it. They backed him up five yards. Uh, okay. Maybe one of the offensive linemen moved and they called a false start on it because they were looking over trying to get the right personnel on. I'm not sure. It's blocked. Still no good. And he's excited about it. That was a huge block there by, I think, number 48 looks like for Anderson County. Where did he come from? Up the middle? 
no, from the uh, bottom side of your screen. Logan Crumpley, number 11, linebacker. Junior comes around the side and blocks the extra point. So it's still only a three-point lead for Science Hill. There's still a lot of game time left here, Jared, but Anderson County needs to start moving the ball again. Yeah, they need to pick up a couple of first downs and eat up some clock. I, I really think they need to do that while going into score. Science Hill in the huddle before the kick. Hey, do you see an onside here? No. I will say there's not no way. up three. Not up by three with four yeah, that's minutes what I'll left. Say. If they were down three, maybe. Yeah, they don't want to give Anders County that good a field position. The kick is away. It's going to be fielded around the 10. Gets out to the 20, 25. Goes out of bounds just past the 25 yard line. So Anderson County's about 74 yards away. I don't know, they mark him right at the 25. 75 yards away. I thought he got past it, but may have stepped out. I agree with you. But we don't have all the angles. So we're not there. That's true. So Zane Hall in the shotgun formation. Two wide receivers to the top, one to the bottom. He rolls out that way. He needs to just tuck it and run. And he throws it out of bounds. Three forty-four left. Second down and ten for the Mavericks. Oh, Mavericks are getting the call from the sideline. That's weird to me. Did you see the offensive line flip sides? Yeah. Throws it back to number six. Screen. Comes back. He gets out past the 35, down to about the 30. Let's see where they mark him. At the 39 yard line. First down. Yeah. They start at the 25. They'll move the chains to get the clock rolling again. Guessing there was a timeout called. So they're saying that that uh, he was out of bounds, which would stop the clock. And the coaches are trying to argue, I believe, if I'm reading body language correctly, that he was tackled inbounds because they want the ball to be set and the clock to run. Right. But because he stepped out the ball will be set and the clock stops and the chains move, but it doesn't start back up. Right, until the snap. Because the th I think they're in the same line of thinking I am where they want to eat up a little bit of clock. Right. As they move the football. There's the county calls for a huddle. They don't do that much. Well, you might as well make sure that you're on the same page because the clock's not rolling, so they haven't even started the play clock yet, I don't think. Well, now the clock is rolling. Yep. 
Hand off to LaRue. Takes it around. He's still on his feet. Nice run there by LaRue. Only picked up two or three, but he's running hard. Oh, they gave him a pretty good spot. It might be four, one, two, three, closer to four yard gain. Three. Yep. Second down and seven for the Mavericks. Sean Till's not bringing anybody. He has all the room in the world just to run and pick up the first down. Incomplete pass once again stops the clock. Third down and seven for the he, Mavericks. He had a bunch of green grass in front of him. I'm kind of wondering why he tried to zip one in there when he probably would have picked up the first down on his own. Screen pass. Oh, he gets over the defender, gets past the 50. I think I believe that picks up the first down, Jared. I believe you're right, Lee. Gets to the 49-yard line. Time continues to run down. Under two and a half minutes left to go here in the game in regulation. He rolls out, throws it deep. Wow, nice pass. Number six catches it, taken down. And number six really helping drive this offense on the field. He's been the playmaker the last few. Yeah, he has. Years. So again, first and 10 Mavericks at the 24 yard line. Maybe we can, next time they're stopping play, if we can get to uh, a look at the scoreboard. I'm not, I don't remember how many timeouts each team has. I don't, I don't know either. Somebody took one. Yeah. I can't remember. But I didn't, I didn't, I never saw the referees point to either side. Mm-mm. -mm. So second and ten from the twenty-four. Trips to the bottom of your screen, single wide receiver to the top. Fires over the middle. Number six catches it, picks up four or five yards. That's gonna be about it. Just leaving him open. Timeout. Used to run. Anderson County just took a timeout. How many more yards do you think they need? Six for a first. No, I'm talking about for a field goal, like a comfortable field goal. I don't know. With that wind blowing the way it is, they had they were within like about a 30 yarder, 25 to 30 yarder, and they didn't take it earlier in the quarter, or maybe in the first, uh, or in the, earlier in the second half. No, it was this quarter. See what the Mavericks draw up for third down and six. We hadn't called Strickland's number here in just a little bit. Hall's in the shotgun formation. Again, three wide receivers to the bottom of your screen, just the lone up to the top. Running back's in there, but I'm guessing that's to help block, just in case they bring a blitz or anything. 
Gets it out to the outside. Oh, he, slipped. Slipped. he cramped up. So it's going to be fourth and six now, six or seven for the Mavericks. You can't kick a field goal from here. You've got to pick up the first down. So this is the game right here. Most likely. Go! Three wide receivers to the top, one to the bottom. Hall's rolling. Yeah, wide Fires. open. They He's short. short. Science Hill stops him, and Science Hill's going to get the victory. Pending something crazy. Oh, they'll go. They'll come out in the victory formation. So Anderson County looks like they're going to go to 0 and 2 on the season. But this was a tough fought game against Science Hill. Not very. Uh, it, it's been an interesting game. It has. I mean, there's. I mean, the game's really not over yet, though. There still could be a fumble. Snap over the head, something. Turnover on downs. I mean, you never know. I mean, honestly, if I was signed to her, I'd let six play. There's, there's a, a flag. Penalty. I think it'll be face mask. That'll stop the clock. Nope. Hold. Hold on Science Hill, so that'll back him up 10. I, I mean, if I was Science Hill, if you want to run the ball, I'd give it to six. That stops. It's still first down. I don't know how many timeouts Andrews County has. Not, <coughs> not enough. I don't think they have enough to turn the ball, like to to get the turnover. I and think I think that technically they have two. They just took one of them, and they took two minutes. I mean, two seconds off the clock. They took 1.2 seconds off the clock. I knew that was coming, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Ryan. He's that guy. So you're telling me there's a chance. You know, this really uh, puts Anderson County in a position that they've uh, kind of not been in, you know, down 0-2 oh, oh and two for, oh the two for the season. You know, district-wise, they're... It doesn't affect them. Yeah. But, and I tell you what, them taking their lumps early in the season, playing up in division, isn't going to hurt them once once they get back into district play. So they're having some sort of meeting of the minds over there on Science Hill sideline. the refs over there that's what I'm not I, I think they're trying to figure out the timing to see if they can go into victory formation that type of thing maybe that's the only thing I can figure out because they get 40 seconds right no it's not it's not 40 it's 25 I think it's 40 after like a first down or something like that I know that there is a 40 second clock but I think it's just 25 Hand off to number three. Stiff arm. Got to strip the ball. And that's probably Anderson County's final timeout, if I were to guess.
So it was timeout, Anderson County, 42 and a half seconds left to go. I believe that's the last time Anderson County can stop the clock. Well, it looks like Anderson County is going to fall to 0-2 on the season. Science Hill is going to go to 1-1. One one. Jared, give me a few thoughts here on the game. Well, I think, um, you know, Science Hill did a good job. They came in with a good game plan, and number six for them has, was a hoss tonight. Oh, man, he was a game. He was a difference. Um, you know, some of their other backs played really well, but, but he was a game changer tonight. And not having Moog, you know, um, he is – the most offensive production that you had returned from last year and not having him in the game tonight was a big difference. Yeah, I totally agree with Jared. I think um, not having Nick tonight really kind of helped them, not helped them, hurt them because um, like they run a lot of their offense through him and then also they had to really switch it up a lot, not a lot more throwing than I think than they normally do. But also I think both defenses played a really well game as well. Both of them came out and fought hard and really kept the offensive kind of contained. I'll tell you what, LaRue for Anderson County came in. He stepped up big. And, and yeah. he had, especially that third quarter. Yeah. He had a tremendous third quarter. And, um, you know, he had a great rest, you know, a good rest of the game. But really in that third quarter, he, he, he got Anderson County back into it and got them the lead. Uh, Strickland had a number of big catches. Um, special teams hurt both both sides with both, yeah. you know, both extra points and a blocked um, blocked extra point. Anderson County blocked one on Science Hill. Uh, punting tonight, you know, not great. But uh, I tell you what, Science Hill came in and um, again the, they had some things fall their way, but uh, tremendous game by them and don't take anything away from them. Um, but, uh, yeah, Anderson County, you know, there seems to be a penalty here. Looks like they're going to mark off against Science Hill. So it's third down. another timeout by Anderson County. I guess I had one more. So did Science Hill call that first one? I'm assuming they did because Were they trying to get Anderson County to burn it? They wouldn't get another timeout. So 26-23 um, but uh, a hard fought game tonight for Anderson County no matter how it ends up and you know coach Gillum's the MVP tonight he kept that jacket on all night there ain't no way <laughs> I would say the training staff as much yeah. as well as hot and everything as it is to have as few cramps I mean I didn't even see any uh, Lane Kiffin cramps out there where people just like all of a sudden just <laughs> fell down for no reason uh, but they did a bo both both squads played an excellent game tonight uh, Science Hill just uh, was able to uh, you know, punch in that last touchdown, and uh, the way things are looking, uh, be able to uh, finish this one off against Anderson County. This should be the last snap of the game. And that should be it. Fi your final score, Science Hill 26, Anderson County 23. And as we watch these seconds tick off, uh, Jay, there is a lot to, you know, take away from this game tonight for Anderson County. Their uh, defense really stepped up, played well. Uh, LaRue had an excellent game. And uh, there, there, there are a lot of positives to take away. Yeah, I mean, this will really um, it helps prepare Anderson County for, you know, district play. They still have a lot to play for. It's early in the season. Yep. And uh, the goal is to get to the second season, which is the playoffs. You know, when the playoffs start, it's, it's basically 0-0. Zero, zero. And because you win, you keep going. If you lose, you're done. So, uh, 
still a lot to play for for Anderson County. They're kind of in a position uh, that they've never been in. or the, well, I won't say they've never been in it. It's they haven't been in it in a, yeah. in a while. Uh, they dropped their first two games uh, here in the season, but it gives an opportunity in the locker room for for uh, them to kind of have a gut check and see what, what the future holds for the rest of the season. Yeah, and I totally agree with Jared. Like um, like we've said, it's uh, really the just the first two games of the season. There's a whole lot more football left to play, and I think they'll. I think AC will get in their groove. And by, like I said, both I think both defenses played really well tonight, and I think that was really the big factor of the game. Well, once again, thank you all so much for watching tonight our presentation of live sports here on AC TV. Once again, your final score: Science Hill 26, Anderson County 23. Our next live sports action will be the uh, county and city softball game on September 16th. Uh, stay tuned for that. We can't wait to bring you that. For Jared, for Dallas, uh, for everybody in the booth, Ryan, uh, everybody over at the field, thank you all so much for watching. Be safe out there. Good night, everybody.